disciples, Lord, because all power belongs to you, Jesus. And we are in you, O oh God. Hey! Yes, Lord. It all belongs to you, Lord. impartation is a one Nataka nguvu ilio ndani yako nikiona watumishi wako wale umeinua wanaofanya kazi yako kwa bidii baba natamani ya nguvu yako nasema kwa hakika kama mtu anapata Kristo anazo nguvu nyingi anaweza kufanya mambo makubwa hey. niko hapa bwana Tafuta uso wako Baba Kila wakati nataka ni kutane na wewe Kila wakati nataka baba ni wendani yako Kila wakati buwana nataka ni tembenda ni yako Yesu Kila wakati baba nataka ni kaenda ni yako buwana Nisi yongufu baba Nisi pungoki wesi kwa tamoja Katika ngufu yako baba Wacha nipungukiwe katika nguvu ya mwili lakini sio katika nguvu yako bwana. Ah. Unafanya mambo ambayo mwanadamu hawezi kufanya. Unafanya mambo ambayo baba mwanadamu hawezi kufanya. Unainua kiwango ambacho mwanadamu hawezi inua unafufua maisha ambayo eh hey, mwanadamu hawezi fufua unainua mambo ambayo baba mwanadamu hawezi inua unafanya mambo ambayo Nasema unafanya mambo ambayo ya we Simama miguni mwako Oh, unafanya mambo ambayo Nasema unafanya mambo ambayo shilo Yesu wangu unafanya mambo ambayo Yesu nafanya mambo apayo Siku ya leo utafanya mambo apayo Kati yetu nafanya mambo apayo I'm 
kwa wiki hii baba Maana tunaruhusu falme wa Bwana uje Tunaruhusu falme wa Bwana uje Mapenzi ya Bwana yatimie tusitembee katika mapenzi yetu Tunataka turuhusu mapenzi ya Bwana yatimie Wacha Bwana afanye mambo ambayo wanadamu wataona na kushangaa na kwa hakika watangalia sio elimu yako iliyosababisha haya kwa hakika watangalia waseme sio makaratasi ulionayo imesababisha haya sio marafiki ulionao wamesababisha haya sio utajiri sio fedha ulionayo imesababisha haya watangalia na waseme kuna Mungu amehusika mahali hey. Watasema kuna Mungu amehusika katika kanisa lake jamani. Watasema kuna Mungu amehusika kwa watu wake. Watasema Mungu amehusika mahali. Watasema lazima kuna Mungu amehusika mahali. Yesu. Yesu. Jehova wangu eh hey, baba kifanya utukufu kurudie wewe bwana yote unafanya baba sifa na utukufu zikurudie maana najua wiki hii unaenda kufanya kwa watu wako baba mambo ambayo wanadamu hawawezi kufanya unaenda kuinua baba udhaifu huo kiwango ambacho wanadamu hawawezi kufikia na kuinua Unaenda baba kutenda mambo ya ajabu. Sante bwana. Jina lako lino liwe naliabudiwe baba. Jina lako lipewe sifa subu ya leo. Nataka tuombe pia shirika wa River of Life popote ambapo umepandwa kanisa la Bwana na makanisa mengine yote ambayo unajua kwamba yanamhubiri Mungu wa kweli Nataka tuwe inue mbele za Bwana Bwana akafanye mambo katika nyumba yake ambayo wanadamu hawawezi wakafanya hata watumishi wanaotumika washangazwe na kazi ya Bwana washangazwe na matendo ya Bwana. Bwana awashangaze kama vile alivyoshangaza Ana, kama vile alivyoshangaza Recho, kama vile alivyoshangaza Abraham kwa kumpatia mtoto katika umri wake wa uzeni. Wacha baba zetu wala ambao walikuwa nafikiria kwamba ni kama wamechelewa. Mungu awashangaze kwa sababu walikuwa waminifu katika kazi ya Bwana. Kabidi watumishi wa Bwana mbele za Bwana twende mbele za Mungu mkumbuke mtumishi yote ambao unajua kwamba amekuwa mwaminifu katika kazi ya Mungu ameifanya katika uaminifu na labda ako worn out anaona ya kwamba yeye ameisha kabisa anaona ya kwamba yeye hawezi tena kumbuke Mungu akapate kumkumbuka na kumtia nguvu na pia ukumbuke madhabahu ya river of life popote dhabahu liko la river of life Mungu akapate kulitenda makuu Mungu akapate kushangaza watumishi wake kama kuna chochote kisichompendeza Mungu maana Mungu hadhiakiwi Mungu ahongwi na maneno ya vinywa vyetu kama kuna kitu ambacho kimpendezi Mungu katika river of life Mungu akionoe kama kuna njia ambayo inaweza kutuletea majuto tunaomba kwamba Mungu aondoe na rekebisha madhabahu yake yakaweze kumpendeza na simamisha dhabahu lake ambapo watu wa Mungu watakuwa wanaingia na kuona mtu wa Bwana ukitiririka wateke maji na wayanywe watumishi wa Mungu waondolewe tamaa ya vitu vya dunia vitu vya ulimwengu viondolewe ndani mwetu Mungu akatujaze na roho wake mtakatifu na tamaa ya mio ya watumishi wa Mungu iwe ni kwa ajili ya ufalme watamani kupeleka kanisa katika kiwango cha ufalme watamani kuona washirika wakipata kubarikiwa watamani kuona wachungaji wakipata kuinuliwa Mungu tenda 
baba katika nyumba yako. Inua bwana kanisa lako. Tunatamania kuona baba madhabahu yako yakinuliwa. Tunatamania kuona katika taifa la Kenya dhabahu la river of life likinena ukweli. Ondoa baba tamaa ya vitu za dunia katika maisha ya watumishi wako kama kuna yeyote mfalme wa majeshi ambaye baba bado yuko na tamaa wa uko na uwezo maana ni watumishi wako bwana wa mabwana ondoa vitu ambavyo havifai ndani mwetu na baba ukaeke ndani mwetu tamaa ya ufalme ili mtakatifu maono haya pamoja na mtumishi wako uliyempa maono ambaye baba ni mtu ni mtumishi wako bishop wetu Moses anapoendesha maono haya tusije sisi kama wachungaji tukasimama na kuwa vikwazo kwa watu wa Mungu kutoingia katika safina ya river of life maana tayari baba umeshatoa maono yako tunapotembea baba katika maono wacha tuone waminifu wako bwana wacha tuone ukuu wako shilo wacha baba utudhamini na mali yako maana tamaa haitakuwa ndani yetu tena tutahakikisha kwamba bwana mali hiyo inafaidisha vizazi hata vijavyo hatutakuwa watu wa roho wa kutujitakia bali bwana tutatakia vizazi vijavyo ya kwamba vitafaidika tunapojenga mashule yawe kwa sababu ya vizazi tunapojenga orphanages ziwe kwa sababu ya vizazi tunapojenga elderly homes ziwe kwa sababu ya vizazi tunaponunua magari baba yawe ni kwa sababu ya vizazi Tusije tukawa baba ya kwamba tunatamania baraka zetu tu eti na watoto wetu tu tuwe watu wanafiki Mungu tuondolee unafiki baba tuondolee unafiki Yesu tuondolee unafiki tiandani mwetu baba upendo kwa sababu ya miaka zijazo tupende kuona baba taifa la Kenya miaka zijazo kwamba itakuwa na orphanages ambapo mayatima na wajane watapata misaada yao tutamani kuona elderly homes ambapo wazee wetu wataweza kuhifadhiwa vyema watalindwa vizuri watakuwa wa baraka kwetu baba watatamuka maneno ya baraka kabla waondoke Jehova kanisa liwe na boma ya wazee kanisa liwe na boma ya wazee wazee kama kina Simeoni wala ambao Mungu alisema hawataondoka mpaka waone ahadi ya Mungu imetimia katika taifa lake baba tunaomba ya kwamba hao wazee wanapaswa kukaa mahali ambapo wanahisi upendo mahali ambapo wanajaliwa mahali ambapo wanatunzwa mahali ambapo wanalelewa kwa vyombo vya dhamana katika nyumba ya Bwana Baba nasema ni asante. Baba weka mzigo ndani ya watumishi wako. Wasije kuwa watu wa kujijali wenyewe tu. Bali baba waone mbele. Waone ya kwamba kuna sababu baba ya wao kuwa na magari itakayo kuwa inabeba wazee ili wahisi ya kwamba kuna kazi waliofanya ndani ya Kristo. Waone ya kwamba baba watakuwa na panda chakula mimea yao italisha vizazi na vizazi e hey, Jehova nasema wewe ni Mungu tia hayo baba mzigo ndani mwetu masia maana mzigo tulio nao si kwa ajili yetu tu si kwa ajili ya watoto wetu tu tunatamania kujenga muji baba ambao misingi yake itakuwa thabiti kama muji wa Yerusalemu masia ambao utakuwa bado uko baba na nguvu utanenwa na utatajika milele katika jina la Yesu Kristo Asante Bwana. Oh Yesu. Tumwambie Bwana ni asante kwa sababu ya taifa la Kenya tunapomalizia ili tukamwalike mwalimu wetu asubuhi ya leo. Mwambie tu Bwana ni asante kwa ajili ya taifa la Kenya. 
Thank you, thank you because of the nation of Kenya, oh God. You are raising up an army. You are raising up, oh God, servants. Oh my Father, who have that deep desire of love in you, Jesus Christ. The love of your working of all glory. Love of the ministry, oh my Father. And love of others also, oh God, in Christ Jesus. Tunasemania Sante Baba. Inua watu wako, buwana inua kanisa lako. Inua watoto wako, mtakatifu, watakatifu. Na kushukuru baba. Na nina kutukuza subu ya leo. Nikisema buwana unastahili. Nani mwenye nguvu kama wewe mungu. Mungu tena usie shindwa. Tunasema ni asante masia. Mana wewe ni mungu wajabu. Pokea sifa, pokea utukufu. Ni kwa sababu unastahili buwana. Asante kwa uweza wako. Asante kwa nguvu yako. Asante kwa jili ya watoto wako baba. Vile wanavyo kutambua na kukujua. Na we mungu tajunikana kwa hu. Asante mungu wangu. Asante kwa taifa letu la Kenya. Taifa la baraka baba. Taifa mbalo mekea rotu bana madini. Ya kifahari Jehovah taifa mbalo watu wengi wanalitamania. Oh my God, our motherland, Kenya, we pray for you. You shall never die. Your vision, Kenya, shall never die. Your vision will prosper. Your vision will go far. In the name of Jesus Christ, we love you because you are the house of God. We thank you, Jesus Christ, for choosing Kenya to be, oh, Father, the genesis of revival. And we are praying, my Father, for the revival that will carry on God to the nations and make nations to know that there is a God in heaven. Baba Mungu tunasema ni asante kwa sababu ya maombezi yetu asubuhi ya leo kwa ajili ya roho wako mtakatifu atuongozaye katika maombi tupatie ufunuo baba tuishi kujua ukuu wako na tuishi kujua uweza ulio katika jina lako nasema ni asante maana Bwana unatudumisha ndani yako na tunapokaa ndani yako Jehovah tunafurahia na tunafurahishwa Pokea sifa na utukufu kwa ajili ya neno la siku ya leo na pia mwalimu wetu baba wa siku ya leo akawe wa baraka katika maisha yetu neno lako lije baba kutuonya kutukemea ili tukaweze kufuata maagizo yako asante mfalme ni kwa sababu unatupenda na wala ambao wako njiani baba tunawaombea ili ukaweze kuwatembeza salama kila roho ya kufungia watu wako tunaikataa katika jina la Yesu Kristo kila roho ya shughuli za hapa na pale wageni wa asubuhi tunawapinga tunaomba kwamba wageni wote wakaingie katika nyumba yako asante mfalme wageni wanaotumwa na shetani kutubaisha watoto wako katika nyumba zao tunakataa na tunafungua kwamba malango ya nyumba yako yafunguliwe kwa ajili ya kila mgeni atakayeingia jina lako linuliwe na liabudiwe na ni kwa Yesu Kristo tunaomba na hata kuamini sema amen Pigia Yesu makofia kwa mazuri. Salimia mwenza kwa liye karibu. Mwambia karibu katika nyumba ya buwana. Mungu akaweze kuwa bariki nyote. Napo karibisha dada yangu. Aje atupatie neno la asubu ya leo na mungu. Awe wa baraka katika maisha yako. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you so much as you purpose to receive from him. Hallelujah. Mungu akubariki unapokusudia kupokea kutoka kwake yeye Mungu. Naomba kwamba Mungu atufungue sisi wote macho tuone makuu ya Bwana. Karibu sana my sister. God bless you. Yesu Kristo asifiwe asifiwe mokozi tuko salama asubuhi ya leo wangapi wamefurahi kuingia nyumbani bwana amen na tubarikiwe sisi sote na wacha Mwenyezi Mungu atimize haja zetu zote za moyo amen wangapi bado wanampenda Yesu Kristo 
Wangapi wanaamini ya kwamba bado yeye ndio njia ukweli na uzima. Sisi sote tunaamini ya Yesu Kristu kuja kwake ilikuja ni, ilikuwa ni kwa kutubadilisha sisi sote na kutufanya tuwe viumbe vipya vya kumpendeza yeye na pia vya kuleta utukufu kwa jina lake. Amen. Maandiko yangu siku ya leo inatoka kwa kitabu cha Zaburi ishirini na moja Noti ishirini na moja Mia moja Arubaini na sita Kutoka mstari watano Blessed are those whose help Is the God of Jacob Whose hope is in the Lord their God He is the maker of heaven and earth The sea and everything in them Remains faithful forever He upholds the cause of the oppressed and gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets prisoners free. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the foreigner and sustains the fatherless and the widow. But, the but he frustrates the ways of the wicked. The Lord reigns forever. You are God, O Zion, for all the generations. Praise the Lord. Baba Mungu tunakushukuru kwa neno lako ambao umetuwezesha kulisoma asubuhi ya leo. Wacha neno lako likawe uhai ndani mwetu ikatusaidie baba ili tuweze tukatembea kwa njia ambazo zinafaa kwa utukufu wa jina lako. Panua mawazo yetu, panua roho zetu, panua kila viwango vya maisha yetu kwa utukufu pia wa jina lako. Limidiwe jina lako na libarikiwe milele. Katika jina la Yesu Kristu tumeamini na kuomba. Musa pale jangwani alimuinua nyoka wa shaba lakini siku ya leo tunamuinua Yesu mwana wa Mungu katika maisha yetu. Najaribu kusema nini? Najaribu kusema ya kwamba tuweke macho yetu kwa Yesu ama tumtazamie Mwenyezi Mungu katika kila jambo, katika kila shida, katika kila viwango vya maisha yetu maana yeye peke yake ndio msaidizi wa maisha yetu. Na leo funzo langu linatoka kutoka kitabu cha Zaburi 146 wakati ambapo nilikuwa ninaisoma na nikakuja ni kujua ya kwamba nikiweka matumaini yangu kwa Mungu nitaweza kushinda kule ambako ambapo wengine walishindwa. Amen. That I can succeed where others have failed. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. So let us not believe in failure. Let us not believe in failure. Because we can succeed where others have failed. Amen. Na ninataka kusema kwamba wakati ambapo nilikuja kujua ya kwamba Yesu anaweza kukupigania vita. Wakati ambapo nilijua ya kwamba nikimtazamia Yesu hakuna vile ambavyo nitaweza kushindwa ndio nitapitia majaribu lakini mwishowe nitakuja kushinda vita na hapo nikajua ya kwamba i am not a failure amen hata kama miaka zingine nilikuja nikashindwa lakini wakati ambapo nilikuja nikamjua Yesu ya kwamba nikimtazamia yeye vile ambavyo Petero alimtazamia Yesu wakati ambapo alimwambia kama ni wewe Yesu niite nije hivyo ndivyo nikimtazamia Yesu sitaweza kushindwa. Amen. Na wana wa Israeli walipokuwa namtazamia Yesu wakiwa pale jangwani, Yesu aliwapatia mana, Yesu aliwapatia maji, Yesu aliwapitisha katika bahari ya Shamu ilikuwa ishara ya kuonyesha kwamba alikuwa anawabatiza, si ndio? Yesu alikuwa anawaongoza usiku hata mchana Yesu alikuwa anawaongoza. Ni jambo gani inaweza kumshinda Mungu kufanya? Ni jambo gani? Mungu alikuwa anawaongoza pale jangwani na ilikuwa ishara ya kwamba anaweza pia kukufanya uweze ukashinde katika kila jambo. Amen. Na vile ambavyo tumekabidhi maono zetu, vile ambavyo tumekabidhi ndoto zetu kwa Mwenyezi Mungu wakati ambapo tunaanza mwaka huu mpya wa 2021. Hivyo ndivyo tunafaa kuwa na ujuzi ya kwamba nitashinda, ujuzi ya kwamba nitapokea ndoto zangu, ujuzi ya kwamba kama ninataka Mungu abadilishe menendo yangu atanibadilisha kama nimemwamini na nimeweka macho yangu kwake amen
because the Bible has directed me to know that I can succeed where others have failed. So we should not be scared over other people's failure. Usiogope sababu mwingine alikuja akuweza kutimiza ama usiogope sababu mwingine alishindwa kama ulisikia story ya mwingine ya kwamba alishindwa kukaa kwa ndoa usiogope ya kwamba we utashindwa kukaa kwa ndoa amen kama mwingine alipitia shida mingi ama walikuwa maskini kwa familia yao kutoka kwa wazazi wa wazazi wake mpaka kwa his or her own generation bado ni maskini usiogope uone ya kwamba pia sisi tutakuwa maskini ama pia mimi nitakuwa maskini sababu wazazi wangu walikuwa maskini watu wote watu wetu wote ni maskini kwa hivyo hufai kuogopa maana aliye ndani yako ni mkuu kushinda yule ambaye ninaongea peke yangu amen so our difference all of us is where we look or where we put our help from wakati mwingine sisi wanadamu tunaweka usaidizi wetu maybe kwa marafiki maybe kwa anko sababu anko alikuwa ananilipia school fee maybe kwa basari sababu hapo ndo nilipata school fee yangu maybe kwa sponsor sababu sponsor anakulipia nyumba anakulipia pia college ama pia kama wewe ni muhubiri uliaka matumaini yako kwa mshirika ama washirika ambao walikuwa wanatoa sadaka walikuwa wanaweza kulipa nyumba ya Mungu sasa matumaini yako umeweka pale na ule mshirika kienda unasikia kukimbia kumfuata. Amen. Lakini Mungu anatuambia nini kitabu chake kinasema kwamba as a man thinketh so is he. Vile ambavyo umeweka mawazo yako ya kwamba wanadamu ndio watanisaidia, hivyo ndio itakuwa. Utangangana na usaidizi wako utatoka kwa wanadamu. Nakumbuka pia Mungu anamwambia Yeremia mimi ni Mungu wa wote wenye mwili. Ni jambo gani ambalo linaweza kunishinda? In the book of Jeremiah 33. Na ukiangalia ni jambo gani linaweza kushinda Mungu? Kama aliumba bingu na nchi. Akiangalia, akiangalia dunia ambayo aliumba inakaa kama inakaa kama nini? Yule yule mnyama tunamuita ant anaitwaje? Siafu. Akwamba anasema kwamba binguni ni kiti chake lakini dunia ni mali ambapo anaweka miguu peke yake. Ukiangalia ukuu wa Mungu, kwa hivyo we umekaa wapi? Si umekaa kwa makucha. Hata kama highway zimetengenezwa, zimetengwa kwa zimetengenezwa kwa makucha yake. The earth is his footstool. Hivyo ndio Biblia inasema, si ndio? Kwa hivyo ni jambo gani ambalo linaweza kumshinda Mungu? Ukiweka macho yako kwa Mwenyezi Mungu, utashinda kule ambapo wanadamu waliweza kushindwa. Amen. And if you are ready to fail kama uko tayari kushindwa afadhali usikimbizane na maono yako utakuwa unajidanganya kwa sababu ukikimbia na maono yako unafaa uweke Mungu mbele amen ukeshe ukiomba hakuna njia ingine ambayo unaweza kushinda mtu yote asikudanganye Mtu yote asikwambia kwamba nikipeleka sadaka yangu kwa ule mchungaji njia zangu zitafunguka viraisi utakuwa unajidanganya. Utakuwa na promote yule mchungaji na we utazidi kuenda chini kwa sababu gani? Sababu ujaupokea ukweli na ukweli haujakuweka huru. Let us turn to the book of Matthew chapter 14. Wangapi wamebeba Biblia yao siku hii ya leo? Kama uko na Biblia inua mkono wako juu. Kama uko na Biblia inua mkono wako juu. 80% of people in the house of God do not come with the word of God. Hawabebi Biblia. Kwa hivyo hiyo inaonyesha kwamba hata ukiwa nyumbani hausomi Biblia. Sio mimi nimesema hivyo ni watafiti wa kweli wa kusoma Biblia walisema hivyo Matthew chapter 14 verses 26 You want to read When the disciples saw him walking on the lake they were terrified it is a ghost They said and cried out 
in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. Lord, it's you, Peter replied. Tell me to come to you on the water. Verse 29, come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, came down towards Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid, beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why do you doubt? Tunaona hapa Yesu akitembea juu ya maji na wanafunzi walipomuona wakashtuka sana kwanza walikuwa wanafikiria kwamba ni ghost. Lakini Petero aliona akasema Yesu kama ni wewe wakati ambapo Yesu alisema ni yeye akamwambia kama ni wewe niite nije. Na Yesu akamwambia njo. Na tunaona hapo verses 26 Petero aliweka macho yake kwa Yesu akimwangalia wakati ambapo alimwambia niite nije. Kwa hivyo alieka macho yake kwa Yesu akitembea juu ya maji. Na upepo ulipokuja alitoa macho yake kwa Yesu akaangalia upepo. Na hapo ndiye alizama ndani ya maji. Sisi wenyewe kama wanadamu wakati mwingine shida zetu zinatufanya tusimtazamie Mungu. Umefungiwa nyumba. Mtoto wako amefukuzwa school fee. Mume wako ameenda ama mke wako ameenda. Umepoteza mtu ambaye ulikuwa unampenda sana. Mtu ambaye uliweka matumaini yako yote kwako kwake ukakuja ukampoteza hizo ni upepo za wanadamu ama za maisha na katika hiyo hali uliondoa macho yako kwa Mungu yule ambaye alikupatia hata yule mtoto hata kama huna school fee hata kama alikuja akachukuliwa ama mke wako alikuja akaondoka ama mke wa, mume wako alikuja akaondoka umesahau ya kwamba ni Mungu ndiye alikupatia amen Na tukumbuke ya kwamba chochote kizuri kinatoka kwa ubaya. So wakati ambapo unangalia hile upepo ndi unakuja, ama ile mawimbi ndi unakuja unazama chini. Hapo ndi unanza kupiga nduru, hapo ndi wakati wako wote, unamaliza kanisani, hapo ndi unasumbua wachungaji niombe na simu, hata awana hata time yao wenyewe na familia zao. Amen? Kwa sababu tulitoa macho yetu kwa mungu. Tulisahau ya kwamba he's the author and the finisher of our faith. Tulitoa mawazo yetu kwa ya kwamba yeye ni mungu wa wote wenye mili. Ni jambo gani ambalo linaweza kumshinda mungu. Amen. Kwa hivyo katika ile hali, Petero alizama ndani ya maji na mungu wakakuja kamondoa. So, wakati wa wote ambapo tumeondoa macho yetu kwa mungu. Mafuriko ya nakuja ya natufunika na tunazama chini na tunashindwa kushinda vita. Amen. So if we put our eyes on God, we can succeed where others have failed. Kuna wakati mwingine mtumishi wa Mungu alikuwa anasema kulikuwa na mali pengine ilikuwa ni club. Kama watumishi ama watu wengine walishindwa kufungua makanisa pale walipokuwa wanaomba ya kwamba mali hapa waache kuharibu watoto wa wengine. Pakue mahali ambapo Mungu anahubiriwa. Na kuna yule mwenye alikuja akashinda akaweza kufungua pale pakawa nyumba ya Mungu. Amen. Kwa hivyo ni jambo gani ambalo linaweza kushinda Mungu kama tumeenda mbele zake kwa magoti na tumaanishe ya kwamba Mungu tunataka ututende hili jambo. Kuna jambo ambalo linaweza kumshinda kweli? Hakuna jambo ambalo linaweza kumshinda. Kwa hivyo hata kama ni challenges za madeni. Hata kama ni challenges za kukosa kulipa nyumba. Hata kama ni challenges za magonjwa. Hata kama ni challenge ya inagani. Hauna kazi. Unatamani kitu katika maisha yako lakini haujapata. Tuweke macho yetu kwa mwenyezi mungu maana anasema ya kwamba. Anabisha mlangu yule ambaye atamfungulia. Ataingia akae, akunywe na alale hata pamoja na wewe. Na utahisi amani ambu ujawai kupata hapa duniani. Amen. Batimayo alimuita yesu. Haka muita yesu hata kama alizidi kunyamazishwa. Alizidi kumuita yesu. Na hata kama yesu walijua ni nini ambacho batimayo anataka. Alienda kamuliza unataka ni kufanyie nini. Haka muambia yesu ni nataka nione. Yesu alimuambia nini? Imani yako. Ime nini? Ime kuponya. 
nasi pia tukiwa na imani ndio tutaweza kuweka macho yetu kwa Mungu. So what helps me if I fix my eyes on Jesus or on of or on God? Isaiah chapter 33. Isaiah chapter 33 verse 17. Your eyes will see the king in his beauty and view a land that stretches afar. Macho yangu yatamuona Mungu kwa uzuri wake. Amen. Na uzuri wake ni gani? What are the be- what are the beauty of God? Mimi vile ambavyo ninafikiria the beauties of God is that he is a way maker. He is a destiny changer. He is a miracle worker. Amen. He is a healer. Amen. Ya kwamba nikitazamia uzuri wake pia, nitaona inchi ambao imeenea. Amen. Na vile ambavyo nitaona inchi vile ambavyo imeenea, maono yangu pia itaenea. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Kuna uzuri kumtazamia Mungu maana utaona maono yako inapanuka na inaenea. Na tunamwangalia Mungu kama mfalme. Na mfalme wa hapa duniani tuseme for example eh uhuru wa nipigie simu ama uhuru wa kupigie simu ama Raila ama Taruto. Akuambie kuja unione state house. Simu usikina lia hello. Eh, naongea na Irene. Naongea na Joseph. Eh, unaongea na Joseph. Okay, mimi ni President Uhuru Kenyatta na kesho asubuhi saa mbili nataka kukuona. Utafanya nini? <laughs> mimi sitalala. Hata siku hata kama siku na nguo nyingi nanipendeza nitakimbia kwa mama Mary ni muombe nguo. Nijipange niende nikaone president sababu akili yangu pengine itakuwa inafikiria kama sijalipa rent na niko na areas za rent tafikiria pengine nataka kunipatia apartment kunijengea nyumba rooms kama nne hivi sa pengine ulikuwa na lala room moja na watoto wako si ndio mm-hmm. atanipatia kanyumba pengine kagari atanipatia pengine atanipatia land amen pengine ataniweka nisimamie kuwa ambassador in chief fulani sababu yeye ni mfalme wa hapa duniani si ndio na sasa tumtazamie Yesu Kristo ambaye ni mfalme wa wafalme ambaye nikienda mbele zake nimwambie Mwenyezi Mungu ninataka ubadilishe hali yangu Mungu anaweza kunifanyia nini tukumbuke ya kwamba mfalme wa hii dunia ni mwanadamu anaweza kubadilisha mawazo yake wakati wowote si ndio anaweza kubadilisha akili zake pengine ufike pale akwambie nime cancel hiyo appointment kuja kesho si ndio lakini Mungu wetu hawezi ku cancel appointment na wewe kwa sababu gani alipokuwa na kuumba alikuwa anajua nina kuumba kwa makusudi ya kuleta utukufu kwa jina langu amen wangapi wanampenda huyu Mungu wangapi wanajua ya kwamba wakiweka macho yao kwake ataweza kupanua maono yao ataweza kuwaonyesha makuu katika maisha yao amen amen kwa hivyo ukiona wengine wali walizimia wengine wali, hawakuweza kufika kule ambapo ulifikiri watafika kama siku hizi kuna wahubiri wengine hatuwaski na walikuwa wanavuma si ndio kuna watu wengine ambao walikuwa matajiri siku hizi pengine hata wako mabarabarani wanaokota makaratasi na walikuwa mabwenyenye si ndio kuna watu ambao tuliwajua kama wa, wako na makampuni kubwa wakaingia kwa madeni kampuni zikafungwa ukitembea pale industrial area utaona go down mingi sana zimefungwa ni vacant kuna watu walikuwa pale si ndio lakini kuna ule mtu mwenye alikuwa anamtazamia Mungu akajua kwamba pia mimi siku moja nitakuwa na kampuni yangu na alienda pale akapata mtu alifunga sababu ya madeni na akanunua kila kitu yenye ilikuwa pale si ndio na anaendelea kwa sababu gani aliweka matumaini yake wapi kwa Mungu amen so the word says that if you fix your eyes unto Jesus the more your vision becomes bigger. Amen. 
ya kwamba kama nimesema hii mwaka ikiisha lazima niolewe na umeweka matumaini yako kwa Mungu na mtazamia anaendelea kukupatia ile hopes ya kwamba utaolewa hata utaendelea utazidi kuona wanaume wanagonga mlango yako kwa sababu umeweka matumaini yako kwa Mungu si ndio kama ni kazi umesema hii mwaka ikiisha lazima nipate kazi utaanza kupata nini unaitwa kwa interviews unapata ni wewe ndio unachagua sasa kazi yenye unataka kufanya amen so god says Ask and I will give you nations. When Jesus met the blind Bartimaeus, he was able to give what the blind man asked for. Amen. So remember, ask, knock and seek. Amen. Ask, knock and seek. Uliza, umbishie pia mlango na pia umwite na ataitika. Na nashukuru Mungu wetu kwa maana hana appointment hana wakati wa kumuomba ama wa kumuita anytime he is available kwa hivyo wakati wowote ambapo utamuita iwe ni jua inawaka iwe ni usiku iwe ni mchana anaitika na kutayari kubadilisha maisha yako so the problem is we see ourselves as little locust nikisema as little locust nakumbuka kisa cha wana wa Israeli wakati ambapo wengine spies walitumwa wakaambiwa endeni mkaangalie vile hiyo inchi inakaa hiyo yenye tunaenda kuingia ya hadi maana ilikuwa wamiliki na ilikuwa ni kumiliki kwa nguvu Biblia inasema the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violence take it by force ni kuchukua kwa nguvu hata kama Mungu amekwambia ndio hii kamera mbele yako nitaweza kuichukua aje naona kuna brother Eli akimapa Naona Odisa ko pale. Naona our one of our vision barrier Pastor Anthony ako hapo pia nitaweza kuichukuaje ni kwa nguvu. Amen. Kwa hivyo wana wa Israeli walijiona kama nzige. Na ukumbuke kule ambapo wamejiona kama nzige inajulikana ya kwamba Mungu wa Israeli ni Mungu muweza aliweza kuwafanya wakapita katikati ya bahari ya Shamu. Kwa hivyo wao pia walikuwa wanaogopa. Imagine unaogopa na wewe ukienda pale ndio unaenda unaanza kuogopa. Hiyo si unamdharau hata Mungu wako. Hiyo unamdunisha Mungu wako. Amen. Kwa hivyo tunaambiwa kwamba tusiwe kama nzige. Amen. God wants us to possess our blessings that he is willingly giving unto us. Amen. But we at times as human beings we are filled with doubt and fear. Tumejazwa na uoga na ku unashuku sana hii kitu nitaipata kweli hii nyumba nitaweza kujenga kweli kama wewe ni mtoto bado unaenda shuleni hii school fee watanilipia kweli saa zine uliambiwa hiyo kose ni unafaa ufanye ni over a hundred na ukiangalia pengine wazazi wangu hawajiwezi sina mtu yote anaweza nisaidia nimetoka kwa familia maskini fedha na dhahabu ni za Mungu na kuna jambo ambalo linaweza kumshinda. Amen. So Israelites saw themselves as locusts forgetting that their God is recognized as powerful. Amen. Wangapi wana recognize Mungu wao kama powerful kama kuna jambo ambalo Mungu amewahi kukutendea. Kama ni miujiza ambayo Mungu amewahi kukutendea, unafaa kumuita Mungu mwenye nguvu. Amen. Because he who is in you is greater than the one in the world let us turn to the book of psalms chapter 78 verses 18 to 29 they willfully put god to the test by demanding the food they craved they spoke against god they said can god really spread a table in the wilderness True, he struck the rock and water gushed out. Streams flowed abundantly. But can he also give us bread? Can he supply meat for his people? When the Lord heard them, he was furious. His fire broke out against Jacob and his wrath rose against Israel. For they did not believe in God or trust in his deliverance. Yet he gave a command to the skies above and opened doors of the heavens. He rained down manna for the people to eat 
He gave them the grain of heaven. Human beings ate the bread of angel. He sent them all the food they could eat. He let loose the east wind from the heavens and by his power made the south wind blow. He rained meat down on them like dust, birds like sand on the seashore. He made them come down inside their camp all around their tents. They ate till they were gorged. He had given them what they craved. Wana wa Israeli walikuwa nasema ya kwamba wanatamani sana nyama. Na walipokuwa wanasema wanatamani nyama. Kumbuka ya kwamba mungu aliwapatia maji wakanyo. Aliasababisha Musa, agonge muamba na maji katoka wakakunyu wa maji. Walikuwa na nja, akaachilia mana kutoka binguni, wakakula na wakashiba. Amen. Na hapa tena wanaanza kumshuku mungu. Wanasema tunatamani nyama. Je, huyu mungu anaweza kutupatia nyama kweli. Ni kama uanze kujiuliza na je Pasta Mary anaweza nipatia shilingi kumi. Na itaji shilingi kumi, niongoze kwa 90 ifike mia. Ikuwe fea yangu niende nyumbani, sindio? Sasa naanza kujiuliza, anaweza kuniongeza shilingi kumi. Hivo pia mungu wetu huwa na kasirika sana, akione ya kwamba, Ninaweza kukupatia kila kitu ambacho umeniomba. Tena kwa nini bado unashuku kama ninaweza kukupatia kitu kingine tena? Na jaribu kumanisha nini? Pastor Mary hawezi kukosa shilingi kumi, si ndio? Ten bob. Hawezi kukosa. Kwa hivyo ni kama unadunisha mfuko wake, si ndio? Ni same as our God. When we start doubting, can God really give me this car? Can God really give me finances so that I can build my own house? Can God really make a way for me so that I can take my children to school? Sababu ni haki ya mtoto kuenda shuleni. Feather na dahabu ni za mungu. Amen. Na kuna jambo ambalo linaweza kumshinda. Vila ambabu tumeona kimuambia Yeremaya. Mimi ni mungu wa wote wenye mili ni jambo gani ambalo linaweza kunishinda. Hakuna jambo ambalo linaweza kukushinda. Ninapenda niweze kukuimiza ya kwamba Mungu anaweza kutenda jambo ambalo wanadamu wanafikiria yezekani. Mungu anaweza kuinua mifupa ambazo zilikuwa zimekufa karne zilizopita. Ya kwamba Yerusalemu kwenye ambako kuna julikana ambapo ni maskini kuna kitu mzuri ambacho kitatoka pale. Amen. Yesu alikuwa mtoto wa Seremala na ni nini alikuja akafanya? mpaka wa leo bado tunamuita Yesu mwana wa Mungu amen even if you are coming from poverty even if you are come you are having a lot of challenges remember silver and gold belongs to him fix your, fix your eyes unto that rich god who has everything and all belongs to him and even if all your family members are poor if all your people are not succeeding, if people around you are not succeeding, you can succeed and be rich because your God is rich. Amen. To reflect the book of Isaiah 33, 17, ambaya tutasoma tena, tumemuona mungu kama mfalme. Ama ukitazamia uzuri waki, his beauty tumesema ya kwamba ni mponyaji, anatengeneza njia, Hizo ndiyo uzuri zake, sindio? Ananipatia afya. Ananiwezesha kupanda milima kama ayala. Amen? He can give you the feet of a deer to climb mountains. So who is a king? A king is all powerful. Still, a king is a way maker. He is a destiny changer. He is a miracle worker. He is a just God. Ni mungu ambaya anaweza kukutetea. Amen? Hata kama ulitenda maovu na ukatubu mbele zake ya kwamba mungu nilifanya hii. Lakini inakumbu kanifunike na mabawa yako. Mungu anaweza. Amen. Our God is kind. Our God is all good. He feeds. He clothes. He's the fountain of all goodness. He is all wise. He's omniscient. Head of all his people. Head of all things. Kings of kings and Lord of Lords. Amen. Kwa hivyo tumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa neno lake na kwamba siku hii ya leo tujue kwamba we can succeed where others have failed. 
if we fix our eyes unto the Lord. Amen. Thank you. Tifiwe. Akika akuna jambo ngumu na nani? Na mungu. Praise the Lord. Najua wengi wetu tunangalia nyuma tunashanga leo kimefanyika nini. Praise Jesus. Ni vile hatuja wai jua. Mungu anafanya na mnagani kazi yake. Lakini ile siku tutajua vile mungu anafanya kazi yake. Hata uta kuna uliza suwabi. Uta kuna kaa hivi na unasema baba niko hapa. Minister to me God. Speak to me because today's word is mine. And mine alone. Praise the Lord. Hauta tafuta mtu. And for me, I know the power of the mountain. Hallelujah. Unapotembea katika mlima, unapoambia mungu, give me this mountain. Unapotembea katika mlima, sometimes hauta tembea na wenzako katika mlima, utakuwa peke yako ukikwea. Maana watu watachoka kukwea mlima. Praise the Lord. Lakini wakiona umefika mahali and then again they will come and join you. Na wanasema tuendele na safa na safari. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Be like Peter. Vile our sister metuambia. Ya kwamba alikuwa kwanza kusema Yesu kama ni wewe. Tell me to come. Amen. Sio wote. Si walikuwa wengi. Lakini sio wote walisema Jesus tell me to come. Kuna mwingine shuguli zimemuambia kuja. Na ameenda kwa shuguli. Sini ukweli. Kuna wengine watoto hata umewaita shuleni na imebidi waende. Lakini wa umesema kwamba I have put everything aside. I have consecrated this day for a holy worship before the Lord. Mungu hata kuwacha. Jesus, tell me to come. Na umekuja. Na yesu wakasema come. Sasa anataka kuachilia mana kwako. Praise the Lord. Watakuwa wana kuangalia because you are one step ahead. Mana mungu wa mekupeleka hatuwa moja mbele yao. Watakuwa wanaangalia wanashanga maisha yako ya metoka wapi. Praise the Lord. Na lipenda neno la buwana. Na nataka tuinuke na pokaribisha wa imbaji ili tukaweze kumsifu buwana asubuhi ya leo. Na kuambia mpendwa vile nilikuwa na omba asubui. Hallelujah. Wakati nilikuwa na ombesha hapa asubui, hata sijuini nini nilikuwa na ombesha leo. Because I just felt that God, if only you can open our inner eyes. Tuone. Tuone baba ya kwamba si mchezo. You know people are joking. Praise the Lord. Watu wana joke mbaka na neno la mungu. Hawana ile uoga waneno la mungu Because when I see the man like Abraham Mungu wana muambia Abraham unjo Na anampeleka katika taifa mbalo Abraham wajui Lakini mwanadamu Abraham wana tembe na kusema kwa mba I am going, I'm looking for a city that has foundations Praise the Lord A city that has foundations That whose maker is God that is the city I'm looking. Hakuangalia maisha yake tu. Hakuangalia vitu vya dunia. Aliacha mali, aliacha wazazi, aliacha ndugu, aliacha kila kitu. Haka sema nataka huu muji. Amba uko na misingi. Maana buwana ndiye musingi wa muji. Praise the Lord. Kwa hivyo leo wewe kuwa hapa, siki ya jali. Uko hapa maana buwana nataka kupatia muji. Ulio na misingi Na muumba wake ni yeye mungu mwenyewe Amen Tunapongozwa na wenzetu katika ibada ya subuhi ya leo Napenda kwa mba tuende Tunapoenda bele za buwana Shukuru mungu Mana uko katika nyumba yake Karibu sana baba Karibisha 
ambapo Bwana umetufundisha asubuhi Mungu wangu wacha nikatenga kazi katika maisha yangu Fungua tu kinywa mwambie Bwana karibu Karibu niongoze Bwana Karibu nielekeze Ni kwa sababu katika hali ya kimawazo siwezi Katika ufahamu wangu wa kibinadamu baba siwezi na kukaribisha ewe roho wa Bwana. Jinsi ulivyo mtakatifu mtakatifu. Ninaomba Jehova kibali ukanifanye niwe mtakatifu. Unifanye asubuhi hii baba niwe mtakatifu mbele zako. Tuitishe kibali mbele za Bwana. Tunaomba kibali baba karibu Yesu karibu. Tunaomba kibali cha Jehova. Tusifanye kama kibinadamu bali tuelekezwe na roho wako Yesu. Haleluya. Baba sitaki kufanya peke yangu. Bali nitataka nifanye nikiwa ndani yako. Nikiwa katika hali ya uwepo wako Bwana. Nikiwa katika hali ya kiungu, hali ya kiroho. Katika utakatifu wako Bwana. Haleluya. Naomba roho wako Jehova kashuke. Karibu roho wa Bwana. Karibu mtakatifu. Tunakuinulia macho yetu ba. Hatuna mwingine wa kuinulia Jehova. Bali tunakuinulia wewe Yesu. Ni wewe Yesu. Ni wewe Bwana. Haleluya. Jehova tunakutukuza. Tunashema ni asante Bwana. Nataka ukambie tu Bwana kwa dakika moja. Tuambie Bwana atusamehe. Wenda kuna mambo mingi tumewaza wiki nzima. Tuambie tu Bwana atusamehe. Atusamehe, atuoshe, atusafishe. Ili tunapoingia katika uwepo wake. Wingu la Bwana likafunguke bali hapa. Yesu akafungue, akafungue mioyo yetu Jehova. Ili tunapomwabudu akakubali maabudu yetu. Yesu ni shamehe ni shamehe katika kunena kwangu uenda nilinena maovu ya sio kupendeza baba ulienda nilinena jehova ya sio mahusia yako baba uenda niliona nikatamani na macho baba nikaenda kinyume chako naomba ukanirehemu asubuhi leo nisafishe nitakashe jehova niuishe tena baba Niko katika madhabahu yako Jehova Naomba Jehova msamaha wako Yesu Tushamee kama kanisha Tazama wengi walianza na roho Na wakamaliza na mwili Yesu Sitaki kumaliza kimwili Jehova Nilivyo anza safari ya wakofu baba Nilianza na roho Nishaidi ya Yesu Nimalize katika roho Nishiwe na tamaa Jehova vitu vya ulimwengu huu vitu hivi vyote vinapita baba nisaidie jehova ni rehemu turejeshe kwako jehova rejesha neno lililokuwa la kwanza baba rejesha neno lako jehova tuumbie mioyo safi jehova tuumbie mioyo safi yesu ili tutembee katika neno lako haleluya
Katika kiti chako cha enzi baba tunakuinua Tunashema ni wewe mwinyulio Tunashema umeinuliwa baba Pendwa inuwa mkono yako Umuinue buwana Uyo yesu anapendanga kuinuliwa Anapendanga kutukuzu Akiwa meketi katika kiti chake cha enzi Anataka kuwana umemuinulia mikono unamusifu Unamuabudu buwana Unamuabudu buwana Unamuabudu buwana wako Umuinulia mikono Muinue tu Tufunge macho yako Na tuendele kuimba wimba huo Na sikia roo wabwana na niambia nisitoke katika wimba huo Ame inuliwa chuma Uyu yesu wanapendanga kuwabodiwa Akiwa meketi katika kiti chake chaenze Anafuraya na poona unamuabudu Mpendo anaona ya kuamba wewe unamuabudu Na kile unacho itaji ya ya nashuka Anakutendea, anayitenda, anayitenda, aleluya Inuwa tumikono yako na ufunge macho Unishaidia kuimba uimba uu Mainuli wajuu Halelu Imba kutoka ndani ya moyo wako Na ufunge macho sitaki utazabe huku na huku Inuwa tu macho yako, halelu Usitie shaka na yule ambaya umoni siku ya leo Wana akona kitu kipi ya ndani ya maisha yako siku ya leo Hame kusudia kukuinua tena Hame kusudia kukutemelea siku ya leo Usichukulie kawaida na hisi uwepo wabwana mali yapo Haleluya Na hisi kubu za buwana Funga tu macho yako, funga macho Inua mikono yako Haleluya
Tunashukuru Bwana tunajua ametutendele. Tunajua kwamba Yesu ametutembelea. Tunataka tumpe shukurani zetu. Haleluya. Asante. Oh wema. Tunashukuru kwa wema Tunashukuru kwa fadhili zako Tunashukuru kwa uzima umetupa bwana Tunakushukuru hata kwa afya njema umetupa bwana Tunakushukuru kwa watoto kazi biashara umetupa bwana Tuasema ni asante Pokea shifa zetu Jehova Tunakupa heshima zote na shifa ni zako baba Haleluya Pingia Yesu vigelegele
Kanisa tu pale pale muziki wa Yesu. Haleluya.
washa, 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 Jesus, Jesus, Jesus for Jesus. 
Asante kwa kutufungua. Asante kwa mwito wako. Asante kwa kibali chako. Asante maana umetimiza mapenzi yako. Sio vile baba sisi tulikuwa tumekusudia, bali vile wewe ulikuwa umepanga Bwana. Asante Masia. Asante Yesu. Asante baba kwa wema wako. Baba kile ambacho tunahitaji ni ukatuhurumie siku hii ya leo. Tazama vile watoto wako wanakulilia baba. Nenda ukahurumie neno lako linasema si ni wewe unachagua ule wa kuhurumia na ule wa kutorumia baba. Leo tunakuomba ukutuhurumie. Utubariki baba. Usitulaani baba. Bali tunaomba ukatubariki. Baba tunaomba mwaka huu usiishe na majonzi tena. Mwaka huu usiishe na kilio. Mwaka huu usiishe na mateso baba. Ndio maana tumekuja baba kukulilia wewe. Msaidizi wetu. Mbe unaweza kutuneemisha baba. Vile ulineemisha Zerubabeli, ukamneemisha Yoshua. Asubuhi ya leo tunaomba baba neema kutoka kwako. Tunahitaji neema yako baba. Bila neema yako tutaweza kumaliza mwaka salama na kicheko. Bila neema yako baba tutaweza kumaliza. Bila huruma zako hatutaweza. Tunalilia huruma zako baba. Tunatamani tushike vazi lako asubuhi ya leo. Tunatamani shida zetu baba zikaondoke. Tunatamani machozi yetu baba yakakauke. Kupitia rema zako. Tunalilia rema yako. Mpendwa mlilie Yesu. Maana ni yeye peke yake anaweza kukusaidia. Ni yeye peke yake anaweza kukurehemu. Ni yeye peke yake anaweza kukuinua wakati ambapo umeshushwa chini. Ni yeye peke yake anaweza kukubariki. Mwambie Bwana usinipite. Unapowazuru wengine baba usiniache nyuma. Unaposonga na wengine baba usonge na mimi mbele. Unaponeemisha wengine baba usinisahau. Mlilie Yesu vile batima yali mlilie Yesu. Usiache shida zako zimfanye Yesu akapite. Usiache baba. Usituache baba. Tunapokulilia baba utusikilize. Ukaitike. 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 Maana tunakutamani wewe.
Unachagua wakubariki na vile vile baba unachagua wakulaani na kuchukia. Kupitia baba huruma zako pale msalabani. Si utuhurumia subuhi ya leo. Hurumia watoto wako baba. Tazama machozi yao vile wamekumwagia wewe. Maana ni wewe wanakutazamia. Vile ambavyo wanaenda kusikiliza neno lako. Kupitia neno lako wacha kikawe huruma kwetu baba. Wacha kikawe rehema kwetu baba. Wacha kikuwe neema kwetu baba Vilu limneemisha Yoshua Ukaneemisha Zerubabeli Na sipia kama watoto wako Tuneemisha kuutukufu wa jina lako Utukuzwe na upewe sifa Kwa maanu na stahili Wacha uwepo wako kawe pamoja nasi Tunapo usikiziliza neno lako Ukaudumu na sisi pia Tukakae na wewe katika kile meza baba Tukakunywe na tukakule na wewe Kuutukufu wa jina lako Ibarikiwe na litukuzwe jina lako milele Kwa jina la Yesu Kristu tumeamini na kusifu Amen Pigia Yesu Kristu makufi Hallelujah. Napochukua sehemu ya kukuketi. Be a blessing. Amen. Kuwa baraka katika nyumba ya buwana. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Amen. Tunamshukuru mwenyezi mungu. Mana tunajua kwa mbani muaminifu na kazi zake. Ndizo tamaniyo. Hallelujah. Kazi za Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo ndilo tamanio letu. Praise Jesus. Bwana Yesu asipiwe. Salimie mtu mwambie umebarikiwa. Tell somebody you are a blessed. You are a blessing. Umebarikiwa. Amen. Pia mtu umebarikiwa. Kuna mtu, unajua wakati ambapo na kuambia mbia mtu umebarikiwa. Kuna mtu wakisongea tu karibu na watu, watu wanatoroka. Mbaka anajiangalia na shindwa kwa ni mimi ni na nini. Bwana Yesu wa sifiwe. But in this house, we are in the making of God. Praise the Lord. You are a blessing. Hallelujah. Tuko katika kutengenezu wanabuana ya kwamba. Sisi ni wabarikiwa. And we are also a blessing to others. Praise the Lord. Sio baraka kwetu tu. We are also a blessing to others. Praise the Lord. Tunapo ndoka hapa na neno la mungu tukiwa tumelibeba. Tunaenda kuliachilia pia kwa wengine. 
ukikutana na mtu anapitia na shida ya aina ambayo umejifunza katika Biblia unamwambia do not worry my sister it is possible unaanza kutoa ile ambayo umepata praise the lord unamwambia kwamba the, the 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 philistines you see the egyptians you see today you will never see them this hunger that you're facing praise the lord this lack of finance that you are facing you will never see it again praise jesus Amen. hallelujah akikuuliza sita yona aje na sina kazi unamwambia kwamba the one that is inside me today and speaking to you is going to open a wide door for you to receive your job amen he is going to make a way where seems to be no way hallelujah unamwambia it is true because our god never makes a way where there is way praise the lord he makes a way where there is no way so you are in the right place because this is what you are lacking so it gives our god an opportunity to perform a miracle because he's a miracle worker hallelujah is a miracle worker unamwambia i'm loaded by the power of god amen Hallelujah, a destiny changer. Praise the Lord, a mountain mover. There is no mountain that my father cannot move. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Unasimama mbele ya mtu mpaka anashangaa na huyu naye ni naye. Hallelujah. Wakati ambapo wanadamu walimwangalia Petro. Wakaona ule ujasiri ulikuwa ndani mwake na ustaponess katika neno yani haungeweza kupinga petro katika neno wakashangaa this man is not even educated praise the lord huu mtu hata hajasoma hii ujasiri anatoa unajua ukienda kwa ofisi kutafuta kazi lazima uwe na ujasiri ya kwamba hiyo karatasi yako hata inapita ile kile ambacho hao watu walikuwa wanataka kama walitaka d plus we uko na B. Si unaenda na ujasiri. Mpaka hata wenyewe wanakuambia my sister we cannot employ you here. Because cheti chako hatujui tutakulipa pesa anga? Hapa hatuwezi. Yaani unaenda na ujasiri. Lakini huyu ni mtu hana masomo. Ako na, ma, na, na, na ujasiri zaidi ya mtu ambaye amesoma kwa sababu ya nani? Ya Kristo Yesu. Ndio maana Mungu akamwambia Joshua be strong and of good courage. Praise the Lord. As I walked with Moses, uliona yale nilifanya kwa Musa, I'm going to walk with you. Mkumbushe Mungu. Mwambie nimeona ukiinua. Dada Christabel, kuna wakati nilimuona akiwa chini, si ni ukweli, lakini sasa hivi she is a testimony among testimonies. Praise the Lord. Na Mungu kama ulitembea na mtumishi wako Christabel, ni nini Christabel alikufanyia kila ambacho kilifanya ukamkumbuka? Je, baba, kwani ni nini mimi siwezi kufanya? Ni nini hicho ambacho baba mimi siwezi kufanya? Mwambie kama ni maombi nitaomba. Kama ni kukutafuta mlimani baba nitakutafuta. Mwambie just tell me oh God. Tell me to come. Tell me come my son. Tell me come my daughter. Which way father do you want me to come and approach you? Praise the Lord. Unataka niguze pinde la vazi lako kwa njia gani? Kwa njia ya maombi kwa njia ya kunyenyekea kwa njia ya kutoa dhabihu zangu ama kwa njia unajua wakati mwingine huwa tunafikiria ni kutoa sadaka kumbe Mungu anataka ujitoe nafsi yako Bwana Yesu asifiwe tunafikiria Mungu nitakutolea hata nitauza shamba langu nitoa Mungu anasema we uuza maana hata hilo shamba si lako duniani we ni mpita njia Bwana Yesu asifiwe sema nitauza gari langu anasema we uuza maana hata hilo gari si lako wewe duniani ni mpita njia na wala haukuja na gari kile ninataka si gari lako kile ninataka si shamba lako nataka maisha yako nataka uniishie jinsi ulivyo 
wachana na mambo ya magari wachana na mambo ya pesa wachana na vitu za dunia njoo ulivyo praise the lord mungu akamwambia petro njoo kuja petro hakushika yohana maana alikuwa rafiki ya yohana aseme yesu amesema tuende aliondoka na akamtazama yesu na akawa anaenda praise the lord hivyo ndio yesu anataka tuwe tunamwapproach tumwambie yesu niite nije baba tell me come if it's you jesus niambie nije praise the lord last week tulikuwa tunaangalia katika maono yetu na tukasema ya kwamba my vision shall not die praise the lord na hii mwezi yote tumekuwa tukiongea kuhusu maono na pia leo nataka nimalizie na maono praise the lord ya kwamba you are going to protect protect your vision from its killers hallelujah protect your vision from its killers hallelujah si maono kila mtu ako naye lakini unajua hayo maono yanatafutwa na mtu i want us to look at one person whom god entrusted with his might with his power but he lacked the wisdom of protecting the vision or the dream that God had for him praise the lord hallelujah this man is called samson samson was known as a mighty man of god man full of god's power and strength man full of god's might praise the lord alikuwa na nguvu ya Mungu kiwango ambacho ungeambia Samson ati hii kitu nimeshindwa kuinua alikuwa anainua na kidole kimoja Bwana Yesu asifiwe roho alikuwa kimushukia anafanya mambo yale ambayo mwanadamu hawezi mwanadamu wa kawaida hawezi kufanya nini kufanya Bwana Yesu asifiwe na ninajua kwamba siku ya leo kuna Samsoni wengi katika nyumba ya Bwana God has entrusted you with his might with his power but are you ready to emerge with victory or you are ready to sell your birthright Praise the Lord Je Paul anauliza kwamba what is it that shall separate me from the love of God You know if you love God you will love what God has entrusted in you Praise the Lord maana uwezi mpenda Mungu usiyemwona usipopenda chochote kile ambacho Mungu ameweka ndani ya ndani yako utaanza na kile kitu ambacho Mungu ameweka ndani yako kama ni biashara utaifanya na uaminifu Bwana Yesu asifiwe hautakuwa muongo ukifanya biashara kama Mungu amekupatia akili ya biashara alafu unafanya na ujanja na ukora kumaanisha haupendi Mungu aliyekupatia Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini kama unabudhamini Mungu aliyekupatia hiyo hekima, maana Mungu alikuwa na watu wengi wa kupatia hiyo akili ya biashara. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini Mungu akaona ya kwamba wewe ni mudhamini wa wake na akaeka biashara akili ya kibiashara ndani yako na akasema ya kwamba nakutuma enda ujenge dunia na hii. Haleluya. Praise the Lord. Na tunapoangalia mwanzo wa uumbaji wa Bwana, wakati Mungu aliumba dunia na akamuumba mwanadamu. Chochote kile kinachoambatana na ujanja na ukora kilitokana na nani? Na shetani. Haleluya. Ukiona roho yoyote ya ujanja na ukora iwe ndani yako ama karibu na wewe, ujue ya kwamba hicho kimetumwa kutoka kuzimu kuangusha maono yako. Praise the Lord. Kuwa mwerevu kama njiwa. Na utoroke. The Bible says resist the devil and he shall flee. Praise the Lord. Resist that power and Satan shall flee. Hallelujah. Resist. Resist that force. Kata na ukatae hata akuje amejifanya namna gani sema I told you I'm not going to do this. Hata kama ni biashara inaleta mamilioni. Sema I'm not going 
to do it because of the Lord. Maana wiki iliyopita tulimwangalia Yusufu alikata ali resist mwanguko ambao ulikuwa mbele yake akakatana akasema kwamba nitakuwa na mwaibisha Mungu wangu sitakuwa najiaibisha lakini nitakuwa naibisha yule aliyenituma katika haya maono praise the lord kwa hivyo chochote kila ambacho ukiona umekosea katika maono yako haujajiaibisha Haujaibisha maono umeaibisha mwenye maono Praise Jesus Hallelujah Protect your vision or your dream from its killers Hallelujah Samson katika kitabu cha Judges 16 Alikuwa ni mtumishi wa Mungu Mungu akampatia maono kichwa cha ma, ma, mafundisho yetu ni protect your vision stroke dream from its killers protect your vision your dream from its killers haleluya samson akawa ameteuliwa na Mungu ya kwamba wewe kuna kizazi ama kuna taifa ambalo linasumbua watu wangu linaitwa wa filisti limekuwa kisirani katika uso wa dunia na ninataka nishuke kwa na Yesu asifiwe siku moja tutakuja kujifunza mbona Mungu anapenda kutumia mwanadamu ni kwa sababu alimuumba kwa mfano wake ili akaweze kumtumia praise the lord Mungu akasema ninataka nishuke nikishuka kuangamiza wa filisti nishuke ndani mwako Samsoni. Haleluya. Najua hata sisi tungetamani ya kwamba si Mungu ungeniumba mimi nikuwe na nguvu kama ya Samsoni wakati ule kuna nguvu ambayo Bwana ameweka ndani mwako. Usijidharau. Praise the Lord. So Mungu akawa ameangalia huyu Munazareti kamili akawa amemudhamini na akawa amepeana maono kwa sababu yake kwa wazazi akasema ya kwamba wembe isije ikapita kwenye kichwa chake na hiyo ilikuwa ni siri kati ya Mungu na wazazi wake na Samsoni Bwana Yesu asifiwe ilikuwa siri haikuwa ijulikane kwa watu wengine Praise the Lord Haikuwa ijulikane ya kwamba siri ya Samsoni ni gani. Mbona Samsoni yako na uwezo wa kukata kamba? Hata kama amefungwa na minyororo wacha kamba. Hata akifungwa na minyororo ako na uwezo wa kuzikata. Yaani ni kama mtu anakata tu kitu ambacho hakina nguvu, kitu kilegevu. Mbona Yesu asifiwe? To concentrate katika neno la Mungu tuachane na ku concentrate kwa mtoto unajua shetani ni mwerevu anaweza sababisha mtoto tu atoe akili za watu wote katika neno praise the lord haleluya samson akawa ako na siri ya maisha yake Mungu akawa ametia siri hii ndani yake na ya wazazi wake ya kwamba huyu mwanadamu afai kuchanganyika hata na makabila mengine yeye ametengwa kama munazareti ako consecrated ndio maana unasikia wakati Yesu alikuja Yesu alitoka wapi nazareti praise the lord alikuwa a pure nazarene Somebody who is who is consecrated set apart for a certain mission. So Samson also was set aside or set apart for a certain mission. Praise the Lord. As me and you today, we are consecrated. We are set aside. We are set apart purposely to accomplish the will of God. Praise the Lord. So there is a secret of God in us. Hallelujah. Kuna wakati mmoja mtu akaniuliza. Help me God. Mtu akakuja akaniuliza Mary, siri yako ni posa uwe unaimba watu wanaanguka namna hii. What do you use? Nikaona ubinadamu ndani ya mtu. 
praise the Lord. Is my God not powerful? Kwangusha milima na je wanadamu ni nini mbele zake? Hallelujah. Is there any power beyond our God? Nikaona ubinadamu ndani ya mtu, mtu anayetembea katika mwili, hajui operation ya Mungu. Na mimi nikaambia Mungu na roho yangu ikakataa kwamba usifichue siri yako maana huyu mtu amejaa umwili. Hana roho. Anakuuliza namna gani? What do you use? Hiyo ni swali mtu anaweza kuuliza pana. Hallelujah. Maana situmii miti shamba, situmii vitu za ulimwengu. Utaniuliza aje natumia nini? Haleluya. Alikuja katika umwili sio kiroho. Kiroho unajua mtu atakuuliza kwamba what is your secret? Hata fadhali mtu akuuliza what is your secret? Utajaribu kuhepa lakini utajua huyu mtu huenda akijua hii siri yangu na Mungu pia inaweza msaidia. Na utarudi mbele za Mungu uombe useme baba. Nimwambie vile mimi huja mbele zako na vile huwa nakupendeza. Niposa unashuka ndani yangu ama nifanye namna gani. Na pia si lazima Mungu ashuke ndani yake bila huwa anashuka ndani yako. Haleluya. Maana Mungu ako na njia nyingi za kushuka. Wewe tafuta kujua siri yako na Mungu wako. Ya kwamba God I want you to use me in this area. Hallelujah. You used Samson in his life time in destroying the Philistines. Father use me in this generation to bring many to you oh God. Use me Father to deliver many. Nitumie baba kufungua wengi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na Mungu ako na njia ya kukutumia. Na akona njia ya kunitumia. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sijui pia kama kuna na hao ndio wajanja wa kiroho kama kina Delaila. Eh. Hey, Samsoni akawa amenyamaza na siri ya moyo wake. Akatulia ndani ya Kristo. Akamtafuta kujua Mungu aliyempatia nguvu. Na akamjua ya kwamba Mungu Aliyesungumuzia wazazi wake hakika ni Mungu maana alikuwa anatumia kitu ambacho ni cha kawaida tu kuangamiza wafilisti Bwana Yesu asifiwe angechoma ngano ya wafilisti bila nguvu yake kwa kushika tu zile mikia za mbweha na anafunga na anawasha moto yani alikuwa mtu mwenye hekima Akijua ya kwamba nikitaka kuangamiza wafilisti leo this is what i'm supposed to do Waisraeli wengine wangeshindwa huo ujuzi Na kwa mbweha wawili Samson angeweza kuchoma ngano ya wafilisti tena akifunganisha wengine wawili tena anachoma mashamba makubwa ya wafilisti praise the lord hallelujah mungu amekutupatia hekima ya jambo fulani katika maisha mungu akampatia mtumishi wake samsoni hekima ambayo ilikuwa juu kupita maadui zake praise the lord samsoni akatulia alipotulia kuliinuka na adui mmoja kwa ishara ya upendo Najua nilisikia ama niliona maandishi katika gari moja nilikuwa nimepanda nikaona pameandikwa kwa kio cha gari ya kwamba the only weapon to finish your enemy is to love him na ni ukweli watu wengi wamegundua kwamba ukitaka kumaliza adui wacha kupigana na adu musongeshe karibu na hiyo ndo mbinu ambayo Delila alitumia. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa ambayo wafilisti walitumia. Waliangalia wakasema ya kwamba tumekuwa tukireji uona huyu jamaa na hatumuwezi. Tumekuwa tukiandaa vita anakuja kwa mkono kwa, kwa pala simba anaangamiza 
Watu maelfu anawangusha chini na wanakuwa wamekufa kabisa. Amemaliza jeshi letu. Kwa mkono tu wake amemaliza jeshi letu. Tutafanya nini? Wakaamua wakaunda mbinu nyingine wakasema ya kwamba sasa tuwache uadui tuanze kuupenda yeye. Haleluya. Na adui kwa ishara ya upendo akaingia ndani ya mwanamke mmoja anaitwa Delila. Akawa amurembo sana, akavutia machoni pa Samsoni. Na mtumishi wa Mungu akawa Luad. Akavutwa, akavutiwa na Delaila. Praise the Lord. Shetani akagundua ama Wafilisti wakagundua ya kwamba tumepata nguvu ya Samsoni tutajua iko wapi na wakaambia Delaila tafuta kabisa mbinu ila ambayo utajua nguvu ya huyo mtu iko wapi hiyo tu ndio tunataka tafuta tu kujua nguvu yake iko wapi praise the lord haleluya tuko katika dunia iliyojaa hatari Hatari kama ile ambayo Samsoni alikuwa anapitia. Ya kwamba tuko na marafiki, tuko na maadui rafiki, wala ambao wanatafuta kutuangusha. Wala ambao wanatafuta kwamba nguvu zetu ziko wapi. Delaila katafuta kujua nguvu ya huyu jamaa iko wapi. Akaona nikigombana na yeye hata niambia akamsongesha karibu akamlalisha kwenye paja lake akamwambia sweetie darling dia akamuita majina mazuri naomba tu kujua hii nguvu yako hata ukifungwa kamba na watu hata ukifungwa minyororo unazivunja tu hii nguvu yako iko wapi Praise the Lord. Samsoni akasema oh nguvu yangu iko mahali fulani. Ukifanya hivi ufanye hivi utakuwa umenipata. Adelaida kaenda akafanya hivyo. Akaona hapana. Ulisema tukikufunga tu na kamba mbichi zile ambazo zijakauka utashikika lakini nimeona hapana hauwezi shikika ulisema nikikufunga nikufungie kwa kitanda na minyororo utashikika lakini nimeona haujashikika bwana yesu asifiwe akamchosha mpenzi wake samsoni na kwa sababu upendo wa delaila ulikuwa umemnogea samsoni Samsoni akaamua kuifichua siri ya moyo wake. Acha tusome maandiko kidogo. Nimeelezea hiyo historia maana sikutaka tusome sana. Lakini sasa wacha tusome ili tukaweze kupata ufahamu kutoka katika Biblia. Katika kitabu cha Judges 16 tuanzie mstari mdogo wa sita. So Delilah said, said to Samson Tell me the secret of your great strength and how you can be tied up and subdued. Praise the Lord. Imagine mtu anakuambia, umwambie siri yako vile ambavyo unaweza fungwa na ushindwe. Uwezwe. Praise the Lord. Hata kama ni wewe unaweza kusema Unaweza kusema Mtu akwambie tiniambie siri ya hii biashara vile una, vile huwa unaifanya na vile unaweza yani mpaka anakuambia vile unaweza shindwa kwa hii biashara unaweza sema si utakuwa mjinga ndio uongee ndio nakwambia hivyo ndo mtu aliniuliza siku nyingine what is the secret what is your great secret Una, unaweza imba urukaruke na high hill na hata uanguki na watu ndio wanaanguka wale wako na low shoes. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. 
Sister Mary, what is the secret? Mm. Hallelujah. Hey. Siri yako ni gani mpendwa? Wacha turuke twende 15. Baada ya kumuchosha na maswali mengi. Then Delilah or then she said to him, how can you say I love you when you won't con confide in me? This is when you won't confide in me. This is the third time you have made a fool of me and haven't told me the secret of your great strength. Praise the Lord. Unajua, mimi niliulizwa tu mara moja. Nilipo ulizwa kwamba what is your secret? What I did, nilifietuka mbio. Praise the Lord. Maana niliona huyu mtu angekua kwa roho tunge kubaliana. Lakini kwa vila ilikuwa, wakati wa ilikuwa katika umwili, hatunge kubaliana. Na nilicho fanya, nilitoroka mbio. Na ya Samsoni kwa sababu haa kutaka kutoroka. Praise the Lord. Alikataa kutoroka. Akakaa pale. Mutu wana kuuliza mara ya kwanza. What is your great secret? Atu na mdanganya danganya. Kwa nafikiria wewe utamueza adui ya kiamua. Mara ya pili za msoni ya kadanganya. Mara ya tatu waka mudanganya. Mbona esu wa sifiwe. Adui ya kakuja kasema sasa. Mbona unasema tunafanya na wewe kazi pamoja. Sisi wote ni watumishu wa mungu. Na ili hali wezi niambia siri ya maisha yako dada Christabel. Tell me if we are all servants of God. Why is it that you cannot reveal to me your secret? Siyo ndio njia ntatumia. Na suta wezwa. Unasema so Mary ameanza kushuku. It is like I'm not. Mimi si mtumishi pamoja na ewe. Njia ya shetani. Oh, Christabel, I've walked with you all this long. Tumefanya kazi pamoja. Wewe ni mubiri. Mimi ni muimbaji. Sasa mbona unanificha siri, dada. Na tunaenda bingu moja. Kwa ni kuna kitu unaona ya kwamba mimi. Yani uki, mbaka hata ntazunguka ni seme. Kuna kitu umeona kimejichora ndani yangu. Ya kwamba Christabel itakuuza. Kuseme apana mama. Wacha tu ni kuambia. Na mbaka nitatoa machozi. Na una, Chris, tumeenda kwa milima. Tumeomba. Is there anything that ni mimi ni mewai feature mbele zako? Unajua duya na kuanga na maneno matamu. Sweet words. Mume wangu ni kona we wapa kwa nyumba. Umewai sikia to kwa masikia kwa mba napenda mtu mwingine uko inje. Kwa na esu wa sifiwe. Ujawai sikia kwa sababu ujawai toa siria. Siku ile utatoa siri, ndio utajua. Walikuwa wanaume wengine huko inje, lakini we ulikuwa ujai iletewa udaku na mutu kutoka huko inje. Praise the Lord. Shetani ni mujanja. Aka muendea Samsoni. Hallelujah. This is the third time you are making a fool of me. How can you say you love me? If you cannot reveal to me your great secret. Hallelujah. With this such nagging, she prodded him day after day. See, kitu ya siku moja. Utasemaje unanipenda. Utasemaje mimi ni wako. Utasemaje masi kabisa ya kwamba mimi na wewe tunaenda mahali pamoja. How can two, hata hata kubiria. Even the Bible says, how can two walk together unless they do what? Agree. Hata hata kubiria. Maana anajua neno. Wawili tutatembea na mnagani. Tusipo elewana. Ni eleweshe siri yako ni gani. Aliendelea kumusumbua na kumuchosha na utamu wa maneno. Na pofika 17, Biblia nasema, so, he told her everything. Ah, yesu nisaidie. 
ninapoona huyu adui Delila nitoroke mpio hata nisisimame hapo haleluya tumeishwa Mungu Samsoni akasema kila kitu akaanza kuna red story yake no razor has ever been used on my head hmm? he said because i have been a nazarite set apart to god since birth if my head was shaved my strength would leave me and i would become as weak as any other man hiyo inakufundisha nini wewe na mimi sema i am unique sema nataka useme kwa sauti i am unique I am peculiar. I am, I am unique. I am unique. Hallelujah. Amen. I am beautifully and wonderfully made in the image of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. You are very unique. Wewe si kama mwanadamu mwingine yeyote. That is why the devil is after knowing your secret. How comes Ukipika chakula kiko tofauti na watu wengine. How comes? Nyumba yako huwa inaingia watu kwetu hawaingii. Inakuaje ya kwamba we uko na destiny help us way. Na wanakukujia tu. Maana Biblia inaandikwa ya kwamba wafalme watakujia nuru yako. Praise the Lord. How comes? Na hata sioni ukiwa mrembo sana. Ni nini siri ya maisha yako? Samsoni akachoshwa. Na upendo. Na akatambua siri yake. Akasema ya kwamba kichwa changu hakijawahi nyolewa tokea utoto. Na sababu ni hii. Mimi nilimetengwa kwa ajili ya kazi ya Mungu. Praise the Lord. Nimetengwa kwa ajili ya kazi ya Mungu, kwa ajili ya kuyatimiza mapenzi ya Mungu, kwa ajili ya kuangamiza adui. Na imagine unasungumza na adui na unampatia siri ya moyo wako. Delilah akasema thank you. Thank you my full enemy. Thank you. Na akaenda. Akapeana siri kwa maadui wa Samson na wakamshika Delaila akampikia chakula kizuri akakula akapumzika akalala na alipolala akanyolewa nywele kapatikana ya kwamba ni kweli ile ingine yote alikuwa anaongea uongo lakini hii ni ya ukweli praise the lord hii ni ya ukweli na mtumishi wa Mungu aliyekuwa mtumishi wa Mungu mkuu akaisha tu namna hivyo Hata kama utahubiriwa uambiwe ya kwamba dakika ya mwisho Samsoni alikuja akaangamiza wafilisti wengi kuliko hata wale ambao alikuwa ameangamiza ilikuwa ni juu ya huruma ya Mungu Haikuwa ile vile Mungu alikuwa amepanga na yeye mwanzo maana aliwaangamiza si wanadamu wale walikuwa nje ndio waliona yeye mwenyewe hakuona hata hakujua ni wangapi waliangamia maana hata yeye aliangamia pamoja na wao Bwana Yesu asifiwe na haikuwa kusudi la Mungu kwamba Samsoni aangamie na Wafilisti ilikuwa ni kusudi ya Mungu kwamba Samsoni aangamize Wafilisti Praise the Lord Mungu hataki uangamie na wenye dhambi maana maandiko yanasema kwamba sinners shall not stand in the judgment of the righteous praise the lord bwana unaruhusu wenye dhambi kusimama katika hukumu ya wenye haki hata hukumiwa nini mwenye dhambi mwenye dhambi tayari alishapitishwa hukumu yake hafai kusimama katika hukumu ya wenye haki praise jesus Sinners shall not stand in the judgment of the righteous. Why do you allow? You 
to die with the sinners. Mbona unakubali? Na Yesu tayari alishatuhukumia. Alipoechukua masikitiko yetu, akayashangilia kwenye msalaba na akasema ya kwamba yote yamekwisha. Kwa hivyo siri ya Mungu ndani yako ianze kufanya kazi sasa. Praise the Lord. Maana mashitaka ya adui kwako ilikuwa inazuia your vision to be accomplished. Yesu akasema ameachukua yote na akasema yote yamekwisha. Sasa wewe timiza mapenzi ya Mungu. Haleluya. Samsoni akasema yote. Sema I will protect my vision. Hallelujah. My dream I will protect. I will make sure I protect my vision to the end. Praise the Lord. Hata ije mia milioni ya pesa, pendwa usikubali kuzama. Maana kipao ambacho Mungu amekupatia ni zaidi ya mamilioni. Hallelujah. Tumisho Mungu akapata aibu. Akavuliwa macho. How will you see? How will you fulfill your vision without eyes? Praise the Lord. Utatimiza namna gani maono yako kama hauna macho? Hallelujah. Hakuna vile utatimiza maono ya kujenga hii gorofa kama ni wewe unajenga kama hauoni. Na macho hata hii tu ya kawaida kama hauna utatimiza namna gani niambie ndugu yangu ya kwamba sasa kwa vile mimi am blind nione si hata nikoni mimi nitakuwa najua gorofa inajengwa ndio maana unaona watu wengi wanaenda kufanya kazi inji ya nje alafu ana entrust mtu ya kwamba nitakuwa natumia account yako kutuma pesa si ndio wakati miaka mbili zinaisha akikuja unajua ukiwa huko nje wewe unaambiwa tu kwamba oh tumepata shamba tumenunua ukiitisha title deed unaambiwa hata hatuna smartphone hatuwezi piga picha lakini iko tu tumekuweke tumekuwekea halafu ndio wewe unazidi kutuma pesa unatuma pesa maana hauna macho hapa Kenya macho yako uko nayo huko si ndio kama mtu anaweza kuchezea mtu ambaye tayari bado ako na macho na sasa je ukikuwa kipofu itakuwa namna gani hata kwambia hata usijali ndugu hata usiende kwa sight trust me trust me brother Eliakim ah hiyo nyumba hata ime, ime, ni, ni roofing tunafanya siku ile utaenda huko na kama we ni kipofu hata atakupeleka kwa gorofa ya mtu mwingine akushikishe kabisa ya kwamba ndio hii na ushike Sio unajua gorofa ni yako. Jua hata anajua hata akitoka hapa hezi jua ni njia gani ilimuleta. Na atakupeleka korokocho huko ndani ndani. Na hata akupandisha. Sasa unajua hata wenye wako kwa gorofa wanafikiria labda wanatafuta fulani. Wanatafuta mlango wenye hawajaona ama huyu kipofu anaomba omba, si ndio? Na huyu anatembea tu anasema eh hii ni first floor. Second floor tunaenda third floor maana wewe uoni na atakufikisha mpaka seventh floor na tena mshuke uingize kwa gari akurudishe nyumbani si ni kweli ukipewa gari peke yako utaweza kurudi hapo maana hauna macho hauwezi rudi praise the lord hivyo ndo delaila alifanyia samson kumtoa macho ya kawaida hata akikuja kuangamiza wafilisti wengi namna gani hata jua na hata ye mwenyewe unajua angekuwa ako na macho nyumba hii angeitingiza akiwa nje si ni kweli na ye angeangamia ni wafilisti wangefanya nini wangeangamia ndani lakini sasa wewe uko ndani ya nyumba na unashika pila si hata we mwenyewe ni ndani hivyo ndo mtego ulipata Samson because of not protecting the secret of God the vision of God 
The Bible says this vision is for an appointed time. Hii maono siya kuchezea tu kila wakati. Iko na wakati wake. Sio kusema sema tu kila wakati. This vision is for an appointed time. It is for a set time. Praise the Lord. Don't just move with the vision here and there. Throwing it everywhere. Giving it to every person. It is for a set time. Praise the Lord. Wait for the time of God to come. You will fulfill your vision. And God's time is now. But receive the wisdom of God to accomplish your vision. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, Mungu watu saidie. But I thank God. Let us turn to the book of Daniel. I thank God because of his mercies. Daniel 3. Tome kitabu cha Danieli. Tatu. Praise the Lord. We have people in the Bible who protected you, their visions. And that is why I want also you to protect your vision. Mungu hakumalizia kazi yake kwa Samsoni peke. Alisema ya kwamba najua niko na watu. Ambao nitaumba. Na watakuja na watatimiza maono yao. So first thing my sister, my brother. Do not just confide your vision to tell everyone. Don't just speak it. Don't just throw it to everybody. Praise the Lord. Keep it. Na wewe uifanyie kazi. Na ndani yako atakamu umeyeka kikisha kwamba hayo maono hayalali. Usiku na mchana think about it. When God walked with the Joshua, alisema kwamba let this book of the law be written in your heart. Day and night meditate upon it. Praise the Lord. Meditate upon your vision, Joshua. Because I have a promise with you. That you will take the children of Israel to their promised land. And as I was with Moses, shall I also be with you. Praise the Lord. So we have also people who kept the word of God in their hearts. And made sure that the promise of God in them came to fulfillment. Praise Jesus. Watch out to Psalm Daniel 3.16. Hallelujah. Mandiko anasema kwamba Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego replied to the king. Oh King Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter or concerning this matter. Praise the Lord. If we are thrown into the, the blessing furnace, the God we serve is able to save us from it. And if and he will he will Rescue us. Praise the Lord. He will rescue us from your hand. Oh king. But even if. He does not. Want you to know. Sorry. Even if he does not. We want you to know. Oh king. That we will not serve your God. Or worship the image of God. You have set up. Praise the Lord. How are you going to Hallelujah. Na hivyo ndivyo nimeamua. Sijui kama we pia umeamua. Ya kwamba liwe liwalo. Hallelujah. Kama ni kupoteza wacha nipoteze. Kama ni kukosa marafiki wacha nikose. Kwa sababu ya maono yangu. Praise the Lord. Maana sitaki watu watakao taka kuniona maono yangu ya kianguka. Watu ambao wananiuliza tu Mary siri yako ni gani maana wanataka kuniangusha. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nataka mtu ambaye ataona kila ambacho Mungu anafanya ndani yangu na anisupport anasema kwamba uko na Mungu dada. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nimeona Mungu ndani yako. And I'm ready to support your vision. Those are the friends that I need. Praise the Lord. Nimeishi na watu 
ambao walitamani kujua siri yangu ili waweze kuitumia sijui ama ili waweze kuniona nikianguka sielewi ama waweze kuniona nikiisha na walicheke si wajui Bwana Yesu asifiwe but I thank God kwa sababu ya kushikilia na kuficha maono yangu mpaka nilifika mahali nikasema oh God nipatie watumishi katika maisha ambao watafurahia kila ambacho umeweka ndani yangu ambao watasupport kila ambacho umeweka ndani yangu na Mungu ni mwaminifu alinipatia Bwana Yesu asifiwe na mimi najua kama Mungu alinipatia pia wewe atakupatia Shadrach Meshak na Abednego walisimama wakasema ya kwamba e mfalme na Bukadnesa na ijulikane kwako ya kwamba hatutainamia Mungu wako maana tunajua sisi ni kina nani praise the lord do you know who you are do you know do you really know who you are je wajua wewe ni nani ndugu yangu naona kama watu hawajijui but if you know who you are you will protect the person you are Praise the Lord. You will protect it. You will protect your vision. You will really guard it with the all means. Utambie Mungu kwamba baba kinga, kinga. Hata usiku hautalala. At times I do sleep on my knees. Protecting the vision of God in me. Na katu hivi kwa kiti kwa magoti nasema God protect. Na usingizi inanichukua. Lakini nasema kwamba anajua nimelala wapi? Nimelala bedeli. Sijalala duniani, nimelala bede bedeli in the gates of God. Nikiambia baba protect my vision God. Protect it oh Father. I have so many enemies. Many people are running here and there to make sure that Mary is finished. But God it's your work. It is not me oh God. This concerns you. Hata kuna wakati marafiki walikuwa wanakuja wananiuliza nilikuwa na dada yangu nampenda sana my sister watu walikuwa wanakuja wananiuliza ya kwamba ni nini unafikiria kufanya sasa next na muangalia na niangalia na tunacheka tunasema hata hakuna kitu tunafikiria Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena wanakuja wanasema na sasa vile umekuwa hivi unafikiria kufanya nini tunasema hakuna kitu tumefikiria namuuliza ama wewe kuna kitu umefikiria yeye pia ananiuliza ama wewe pia kuna kitu umefikiria tunabaki hatuna wacha tutaenda kuomba tujue ni nini tuko nacho bwana yesu asifiwe walichoka wakati wacha and there god began with us that is why we are here today praise the lord wakati ambapo Mungu alihakikisha kwamba wale si sehemu ya maono yetu wameisha wameenda maana walitaka maono haya kuyajua na kwenda kuhakikisha kwamba tumeanguka Mungu akasema hakuna sitaweka hayo maono saa hii ndani ya mioyo za wacha wapumuzike na ndio Mungu sasa akaanza kuchipua. Na kumbuka wakati mwingine tulikuwa tunakimbia, tunatembea kwa barabara kama uenda wazimu. Tunaenda umoja. Tukifika umoja, tunasema tunafika mtindwa, tunashuka ndani ya gari tunasema hapana, sio hii kiti. Tunatembea tunasema tunataka hii. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Pesa yenyewe hatuna. Na tukimaliza kubuku kiti hivi, Mungu anatuma na pesa, tunalipa next day yake tunachukua. Tunasema yes hapa kuna Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hatukuruhusu mtu kuyaguza maono yetu kwa wakati huo. Maana maono hayo yalikuwa delicate. Na yangeguzwa tu yangeangamia. Praise Jesus. Usiruhusu mtu kumaliza maono yako. Usiruhusu mwanadamu kuangamiza maono yako. Maana kunao waliotetea maono yao. Na kumbuka scenario ya Shadrach, Meshach na Abednego halikuwa jambo rahisi, haikuwa upendo kama ile ya Delaila. Ilikuwa ni moto mpendwa iko mbele yako. Na unaambiwa kwamba usiposema, usipoinama, usipoabudu, wewe unaingizwa katika huo moto. 
Watumishi wa Mungu wakasema wacha ijulikane wazi kwako ya kwamba hii moto si tisho maana haitoshani na maono yale tumebeba. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na naona ni kama Shadrach, Meshach na Abednego walikumbuka kitu moja. Abraham alipewa maono na Mungu, si ni kweli? Alipopewa na maono na Mungu, Mungu akamwambia kwamba utakuwa baba wa mataifa. Leo anatuona. Leo Abraham alituona sisi kweli. Hakutuona si ndio? Lakini si maono yake inaendelea. So Shadrach, Meshach na Abednego walisema atakama atakama hatuta survive moto but our vision will continue. Praise the Lord. Our vision will not die because it is for the generations to come. Ya kwamba wa Israeli hawakuumbwa kuinamia miungu mingine yeyote. That is our vision. We are only to bow before the Almighty God. Praise the Lord. So there is no situation even fire cannot separate us from our God. Hallelujah. Hayo ndio yalikuwa maono ya wapendwa hawa. This was their longing. This was their dream. Walipokuwa katika moto Efrata. Hey, watumishi wa Mungu. Wakasema ya kwamba when we remember the Zion, we wept and cried. Praise the Lord. Maana hatukuona furaha ya maisha. Lakini kila tunaomba ni ya kwamba wimbo wa Bwana hautaimbwa katika inchi geni. Wimbo wa Bwana ni wimbo utaimbwa zayoni. And that time is coming we are going to sing that song. Na kama sitaimba, shalini watoto wake wataimba. But I will make sure that this song is not going to die. This song has to live in my children for my generations to come. Praise the Lord. Wakakubali wakasema kama ni moto wacha tuingie. Mufalma akasema unajua hao watu hawanijui. Haumjui asira ya Nebukadnesa nyinyi. Hamujui ya kwamba mimi naweza ongeza hii moto mara saba na wakasema hata iongezwe mara 14. Wacha iongezwe. Na unajua Nebukadnesa akafikiria hao watu jamaa Wakiona hata imeongezwa mara saba tu wataogopa wakasema mufalme naijulikane e mufalme nebukadnesa hatuwezi tukaabudu miungu yako hatuwezi tukakuinamia Bwana Yesu asifiwe tutahakikisha ya kwamba mapenzi ya Bwana yamefanya nini yametimia Haleluya Hallelujah. Na watumishi wa Mungu wakakang wakaka wakasema kwamba tukubali tukubali. Kama ni mbaya ni mbaya. Na Nebukadnesar akasema haya one, two, three. ikifika mara saba muarushe. Vile tu pastors wamezoea kusema tu sema one, sema two. ikifika mara tatu shangilia. Naona kama nabukaneza pia alisema ikifika mara saba maana moto umewaka mara saba. Mwaru? Mwarushe. Hata wale waliwarusha, Biblia inasema kwamba hata wengine walikufa. Kwa sababu ya makali ya mo. Lakini kwa sababu ya maono ya Bwana. Bwana mutetea maono yake Bwana Mungu. Tema Mungu atatetea maono yangu. Mungu atatetea maono yako mpendwa. Simama na umtetee Mungu naye atatetea maono yake ndani yako. Haleluya. Mungu akasimama akasema lazima nitetee maono yangu. Na kila licho kifanya Bwana kwa sababu Bwana anapenda mwanadamu. Alishuka ndani ya ule moto. Aliingia ndani ya ule moto. Praise the Lord. Aliingia ndani ya ule moto. Na wao. Alipoingia ndani ya ule moto na wao. Na Bukadinesa akakaa kwa kiti chake. Na kuangalia vile wale jamaa wanateketea. Ghafla bini huu 
ama inakuanga ni ghafla binifu akaona jamaa wanatembe ndani ya moto kasema imekuaje imekuaje na tena akiangalia alirusha ndani watu wangapi watatu na yeye akaona watu wangapi wanne na huyu mtu wanne Biblia inasema kwamba alikuwa anafanana kama mwana Haleluya Alikuwa na ngaa kama mwana wa Mungu Praise the Lord Alipendeza hata miale ya moto haingeza kuwafikia maana walikuwa na mwana wa Mungu ndani ya moto Praise the Lord Sema I will protect my vision from its killers I will protect my dream no matter what may come no matter what may come I will make sure my vision will not die Hallelujah it will not die Father trust me give me this mountain Lord Patie hu mlima bwana na unipatie nguvu na uingie ndani yangu baba usiniache ili Mungu wewe mwenye ukakinge maono yako ndani yangu Bwana Yesu asifiwe vijana wala ambao wako kanisani leo mwache kupoteza maono yenu wakati ambapo mwili wako unauchukua na kuupeana kwa kila mtu ni kuangusha maono yako unaangusha Mungu angetaka kukutumia kama kijana mfano katika maisha ya jayo lakini sasa akiangalia na shidwa huyu Delila ni mugani huyu Yesebeli ni mugani Praise the Lord Huyu ni nani Haleluya Situkinge maono yetu Pendwa Mungu awezi akakuacha kama aliingia na Shadrach, Meshach na Abednego wewe ni nani? Na maandiko yanatuambia katika kitabu cha Waebrania kwamba Elijah alikuwa mwanadamu sawia kama wewe na mimi. Lakini alifunga mbingu kwa miaka mitatu na nusu. Praise the Lord. Na hata Elijah alipokuwa anasema alisema kwa neno la kinywa changu maana alijua Mungu yuko ndani yake. Na akasema kwa neno la kinywa changu mfalme hakutanyesha miaka mitatu na nusu. Na mfalme akafikiria ni uongo. Na Elijah akatoka uweponi mwa mfalme akaenda. Praise the Lord. Mfalme akaona mito zinaanza kukauka, nyasi zinaanza kukauka mifugo inaanza kuangamia kwa ukosefu wa malisho praise the lord na siku ile elijah alisimama na akasema leo kuna nyesha mfalme toka mbio maana mfua inakuja ilikuwa hivyo maana alisema kwa neno la kinywa changu hakutanyesha tena kwa neno la kinywa changu kutanyesha praise the lord simamia uhaki na ukweli wa bwana uone vile mungu anataka kutumia wewe kuangusha falme praise the lord wacha ijulikane e mfalme na kwamba hatutainamia miungu praise jesus turn with me to the book of esther esther 4 mwanadada aliyeamua haleluya kitabu cha esther esther akamwambia modekai tunajua historia for me praise the lord fast for me do not eat or drink for three days night or day and my mates will fast as you do when this is done i will go to the king even though it is against the law And if I perish I do what I perish praise the lord kama ninaangamia nifanye nini
Mfalme akasema Esther akasema nitaenda kwa mfalme hata kama ninajua kwamba ni kinyume cha sheria. Pendwa maono yako. Maana Esther hakuwa anajua maono yake. Lakini Mordecai akakuja, who is the Holy Spirit in you? He shall reveal to you the vision of God in you. Praise the Lord. Mordecai akakuja akamwambia Esther wewe haujui hii inaweza kuwa ni sababu ya wewe kuwa katika nyumba ya mfalme ili wakati wowote wakisema tuangamie utasimama kama advocate wetu Bwana Yesu asifiwe Na Esther akasema kama ni hivyo Wacha niweze kwenda hata kama ni kinyume cha sheria lakini muombe kwa ajili yangu na hata kama haumtaomba kama ni kuangamia wacha niangami niangamie lakini nimeenda Praise the Lord it is good to know your vision The purpose of God in you Your vision is not your, your, your purpose but the purpose of God in you Know it and be ready to perform it See God fulfilling it. Praise the Lord. Esther kasema if I perish, if I die. Hallelujah. Come on, be a mongo, give me this mountain. The mountain that is before your children, Lord. Nipatia who you are money. Nipatia haman, Baba. Nipatia. Nataka kumwangamiza Hamani. Bring Haman to my level God. Hallelujah. Bring this enemy to my level. Hata kama ni kinyume cha sheria. I'm going. Hallelujah. Na maombi ya Esther ilikuwa ni kwamba adui yake aletwe katika kiwango chake ili aweze kumwangamiza. Unajua Esther hangeweza kumwangamiza Haman kama hama ni hange pata na fasi ya kumtembelea. Praise the Lord. Na akawa na tafta strategy. Mfalma kauliza, kasema Queen Esther, niambie ni nini unataka. Ata kama ni nusi ya ufalme nita kupatia. Na najua ingekua ni wanadada wa leo, maslay queen. Eh? Maslay queen wangeacha tuangamie. Na wawo wangeomba nusi ya ufalme. Sini ukweli. Lakini Esther alieka uslei queen mbali. Akasema ya kwamba mufalme. E mufalme. Kama itakupendeza. Kama ninapata kibali. Machoni pa mufalme. Si mufalme akuje kwangu. Ni muandalie. Chakula. Akule. Na akuje na haman. Maana haja yangu si mufalme. Maana tayari Mungu amenipatia, ameleta mfalme kwa level yangu. Mfalme mzima anauliza mwanadamu, malikia tu kama mimi, ya kwamba hata kama ni nusu ya ufalme tugawane katikati. Hiyo inamaanisha kwamba mfalme ameletwa kwa level ya queen. Lakini kuna mtu mmoja ambaye najua bado hajaletwa kwa level yangu na huyu ndio ninataka. Praise the Lord. Na Malikia akagundua kwamba hama ni akikuja kwa level yangu wa Israeli wa Yahudi watakuwa wamepona. Haleluya. Na Mungu akasema ni hiyo ndio Malikia ameomba nitahakikisha mwao wa mfalme unafuata kile Malikia amesema. Malikia kapata mwaliko wa mfalme. Mfalme akakuja kakula. Tena siku ya pili tena mfalme akarudi ndio malikia akapata nafasi lakini sisi ingekuwa ni sisi labda tu siku ya kwanza tungekuwa tumechoka kama hauja muangamiza hama ni ungechoka usichoke mpendwa ina maana ya kuwa usichoke kumuomba Mungu nafasi ya kupata 
upenyo wa maono yako. Haleluya. Esther akatafuta nafasi na hakutafuta mara moja. Mwanzo alitangulia kufunga. Ya pili akasema mfalme njoo kwangu. Mfalme akakuja na Haman. Esther akasema hapana leo sijapata nafasi nzuri. Siku ya nyingine tena ya pili akamwambia mfalme tena arudi. Na mfalme aliporudi, Esther akasema baba Mungu, unajua hii ni mara ya tatu nimekuomba kwa ajili ya hili jambo, usiniaibishe. Give me God an opportunity for me to finish the enemy of the Jews. Praise the Lord. And God granted Esther a very nice opportunity. Hallelujah. Mufalma katoka tu kidogo, akaenda, kangalia mandari yake ya kifalme, akirudi, akapata jamaa, anabeg mbaka memuangukia malikia, malikia nisame, na hasira ya mufalme ikapana. Esther akajua ya kwamba yes nimepata opportunity. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is going to make a way for you to overcome your enemy. Praise the Lord for that vision. Unajua mpendwa haujui ni mitego ngapi watu wanapitia. Watu wanapita mitego ili maono yao yachipuke. Kwa hivyo usiogope. Mutego wa moto haungeweza kuangamiza maono ya Shadrach, Meshach na Abednego. Mutego wa simba haungeweza kuangamiza maono ya Danieli. Praise the Lord. Tuko na watu wengi mpendwa wale waliotetea maono yao. Kiasi cha kufa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Unaposoma katika kitabu cha at matendo ya mitume 12 Naposoma matendo ya, kumine, ya, ya mitume 5 15 Mwanzo tusome 12 moja Posa tutaenda 15 Haleluya Acts of the Apostles 12 Praise the Lord. Unaposoma matendo ya, kumine, ya, ya, ya mitume 12 kuanzia moja, utapata vile Petro aliepuka mauti kwa sababu ya maombi ya Wakristo. Na ndio maana ninawaombea kila wakati ya kwamba maono yenu. Praise the Lord. Kulikuwa na maono ambao Mungu alikuwa ameweka ndani ya Petro. Maono ya uponyaji. Amen. Petro alikuwa ni mtumishi wa Mungu aliyetumika katika kiwango cha juu. Ya kwamba unaposoma sasa matendo ya mitume tano. Tano kumi na tano. Kisoma tano kumi na tano. Unapata kwamba huyu ni mtume ambaye hata kivuli chake tu kilikuwa kinangojewa na watu. Wacha mwili kivuli tu kingeku overshadow hivi ni muujiza alikuwa anatembea na holy spirit praise the lord when his shadow overshadows you it is a miracle haleluya na huyu ndio mtumishi ambaye herode anataka kuangamiza maana adui wa mungu ndani ya herode alitambua maono ya mungu ndani ya petro kwamba this is a unique person even his shadow praise the lord hata kivuli chake tu kinatosha kuponya watu si lazima niende nikiekelea mkono pokea 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 hapana petro hakuhitaji hiyo peter only needed to walk on the streets praise the lord na watu wanaeka watu wagonjwa mahali wanajua kwamba jua liko huko kwa hivyo akitembea hivi kama atakuwa anaenda hivi kivuli kitakuwa saidi hii na wanatandika wagonjwa huko praise the lord kivuli chake tu kilikuwa kikikupita na kikuguze kama vile napita kwa dada hivyo anapokea uponyaji praise the lord my sister my brother you are a great person and you are a unique person hallelujah Praise Jesus. Na Petro anakuja anatuambia kwamba we are unique. We are peculiar. 
We are a chosen generation called forth to show the praises of God. Him who has called us from that darkness to his marvelous light. Praise the Lord. You are a unique person. Nani anakudunisha? Nani anafanya unajidharau? Unajiona kana kwamba wewe si mtu. Hallelujah. Protect the vision of God in you. Hallelujah. We have many men of God who remained faithful because of the vision of God in their lives. Hallelujah. Mtu alisema kwamba vision is the ability of seeing far. But mimi naona kwamba ni vision is any talent that you have. Inaashiria vision yako. Anything that God has deposited in you, however small or great it is, that is your vision for life. And that vision is for the generations to come. Praise the Lord. Unajua hii gorofa tuko ndani mwenye kuijenga leo hii hayuko. Mzee mwenye hii gorofa hayuko ni watoto waliobaki. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Are we not enjoying the vision of that mzee? We are enjoying. Si tuko ndani. Si tuko kwa shelter kwa sababu kuna mtu alihusika kujenga hii nyumba. Na hako anajenga ya kwamba yeye aishi milele. Alikuwa anajenga ya kwamba haya maono ni ya watoto wa watoto wa watoto wa watoto wangu generations a thousand and a thousand to come. Praise the Lord. What is it that you are doing in your life? That you know very well this thing is for my generations to come. Ama we unauza tu nasema after all hata nauza kwa kiwanja cha kanjo. Ile siku wataamua kukuja wanifurushe ni sawa tu. Sindio? Unasema after all hii ofisi ni kondani si yangu. Ni ya mudos. Kwa hivyo anafanya tu vile anataka kwa sababu hata siku moja mimi sitakuwa ha. Inatakana mpendo wakati unafanya kazi ya Mungu, unafanya ukijua ya kwamba hii kazi ninafanya kuna watu watakuja pia waifurahie, wakule matunda yake. Bwana Yesu asifiwe, sio tu mimi ni kule naishe hivyo. Wacha watu mishi wa Mungu watakao kuja, enzi zinazokuja, utawala unaokuja uweze kufurahia. Haleluya. Si Mungu atupatie maono ya generations to come. We have faithful men of God. Naposoma kitabu cha Hebrews 11. Tunataka tumalizie mahali pale. Kitabu cha Hebrews 11. Kinaongelelea kuhusu watumishi wa Mungu waliotembea kwa imani. Praise Jesus. These people they longed to see these things with their eyes. Hallelujah. Walitamania kuona mambo haya kwa macho yao. Lakini hawakuyaona. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini haya hawakuyaona. Na leo sisi tunayaona mambo haya. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Wacha tusome tu kipengee kimoja katika kitabu cha Hebrews 11 to some 13. Inasema kwamba all these people were still living by faith when they died. All these people were still living by faith when they died. Hata walipokuwa wanakufa bado walikuwa wanaishi kwa ima kwa imani. Praise Jesus. They did not receive the things promised. They only saw them and welcomed them from a distance. Waliona kwa maono. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hawa kuona at face to face at all nimeona hii nyumba. They saw it in a vision from a distance. Praise the Lord. 
they saw it from a distance and welcomed it. Yani ina maana ya kuwa mpendwa kama Mungu amekupatia maono ya kuwa na kamboni, si ndio? Usiseme after all hata age yangu inaenda nitakufa na hii kamboni nitaachia naye. Welcome it. Tell God thank you. Give me the ability to work hard for this company and I'm going to leave it for my children. Praise the Lord. Umekufa lakini umenena neno la baraka kwa watoto wa kwa watoto wako. Kwa hivyo watoto wanabaki wakirani ile kambuni wakijua kwamba this was our father's vision. Hallelujah. Si tunaacha kufanya kazi kwa sababu unajua after all niko karibu kufa. Hallelujah. They saw it and welcomed it from a distance and they admitted that they were aliens and strangers on the earth. Walikubali. Sisi ni wapita njia, si ndio? Lakini maono haya lazima yabaki yaki yakiishi. Unajua wakati tunaishi hivi, wakati mwingine unakaa unaangalia unaona labda ni kama dunia itaisha 2022. Kwa hivyo kila kitu nafanya ni kama unaiyekea kipimo mwisho wake ni 2022. Autaki hata kujua baada ya 2022 ni nini kitafanyika. Ama 2050, 2100, wewe unaona mahali utaishia ndio ni kama dunia itaisha. Hapana mpendwa, wewe ndio utaisha. Lakini dunia itakuwa bado inaendelea inaendelea na kama kuna kitu ulifanya kila ambacho watu watakuwa wanakumbuka hata we utakuwa unaendelea ndani ya hicho kitu unaona zile recordings tunachukua hapa leo hii patikana ya kwamba pastor Mary hayuko si wajukuna vitu kuu wataishi kuona si watabarikiwa sio ni maono niko nayo kwa ajili ya media ya kuachia wajukuu wangu Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Si itakuwa ya baraka kwao. Watajua kwamba when our grandmother lived, this is what our grandmother intended to do. So can I also continue it from where she left? Praise the Lord. Also for the coming generations, I also admit that I am a stranger in this world. Hallelujah. Mimi ni mgeni tu nitaondoka, but what legacy am I leaving behind? Will it be a benefit to the coming generation? Nuka miguni mwako. Na kama kuna roho ya kwenu, watu hawakuwa wanaacha legacy nyuma kwa sababu ya generations to come. Na wewe unapojaribu kufanya kitu, unaona ya kwamba kitu hicho akifanikiwi. Kwa sababu maroho za mababu wala mba hawakuwa ijua maono ya mungu kwa ajili yako. Ya mesimama mbele yako na kusema, oh, sisi hatu kupita hapa. Wambie, I'm going to pass that level, not because of me, but because of the generations to come. Praise the Lord. You are not just by passing the level men did not pass like how our sister was teaching us ya kwamba unaenda kupita mali watu wa kupita hautapita kwa sababu ni wewe umetaka kupita utapita kwa sababu kuna watu wanakufuata nyuma Haleluya ndio mikono za mbele za Bwana Mwambie Mungu nataka unisaidie Nataka unisaidie baba. Kuna mahali najua mababu zangu hawakufika. Na leo hii wamekuwa kikwazo kwa maono yangu. Kuna mahali najua kwamba nyanya yangu hakufika yule niliitwa jina lake hakufika. Na leo hii anasimama. Ndio maana mimi nimekuwa nikiteseka kwa muda mrefu. Lakini kwa sababu ya maono ya Bwana anapoalika waimbaji, kwa sababu ya maono ya Bwana ya vizazi vinavyokuja baba, nitaacha nini kwa vizazi vinavyokuja? Yone mizi yawe. Oh oh. Bwana kutende muujiza mpendwa. Akutende muujiza. Anafanya njia pasipo na njia. Kama hawakukuachia njia, Mungu yuko na uwezo wa kukufanyia njia. Hey Yesu. Mwambie Bwana nifanyie njia baba. You are a miracle working God. 
Make a way for me, Jehovah. Nifanyie njia masia. Nataka tu tumwambie Bwana fanya njia baba. Mwambie Bwana kufanyie njia mpendwa. Maana kuna mahali ambapo wale watu tuliitwa majina yao hawakuacha njia kwetu kupitia. Na sasa sisi tumekaa kama vipofu hatuoni mahali pa kuenda. Pendwa kuna Mungu anayetengeneza njia. Your name is Yahweh. God of Joshua. Kwa imbaji watupatia your name is Yahweh.
wapendwa kama hawaku kuachia njia bwana anatengeneza njia hawaku kuachia biashara bwana anatengeneza biashara na yako itakuwa ni ya vizazi vijavyo haitakatishwa na mwanadamu yeyote
tumpendwa njia ni Kristo Yesu na unapokutana na Kristo leo usimwache usikubali chochote kije kati yako na Yesu usikubali hata kusikia unajua kuna wakati mwingine moyo unanena na unakubali kabisa unasema huyu si Yesu ananena ndani yangu maana hii ni roho ya chuki hii ni roho ya wivu Inasema ya kwamba hata nisiepeleke mtu mwingine kwa kazi. Hiyo ni roho ya chuki, roho ya kaini. Roho ya Lucifer, roho ya wivu. Unaambie Mungu niumbie moyo mpya. Niumbie moyo mpya. Moyo wa kunyenyekea baba na kubondeka mbele zako. Naambia Mungu niumbie moyo mpya. Mm. Nataka niwe msaada kwa vizazi vinavyokuja. Sema Bwana nipatie shamba nijenge nyumba na si nyumba yangu tu baba itakuwa nyumba ya vizazi. Na ninapojenga masia wacha pia niwe baraka kwa wengine. Ni extend baba nijenge ghorofa ambayo itakuwa na milango mingi ambayo itaishi watu wengi pia isaidie watu wengine. Eh hey. Yesu maana maono yako mpendwa si yako peke yako. Asante wa mikono zako. Pindi hiki cha maono ni kirefu sana mpendwa. A vision this vision your vision is for an appointed time. So usiruhusu mtu asimame mbele ya maono yako. 
Yesu anafanya njia. Hata kama hawakuacha njia. There is a way in Christ Jesus. He is the way. Way maker. Miracle worker. Promise keeper. Light in the darkness. My God. That is who you are. Hey. He is a way maker. He is a promise keeper. Hallelujah. Wacha tuamini na tuombe kwa sababu ya wakati. Takatifu Mungu wetu mwaminifu. Tunasema ni asante kwa ajili ya neno lako siku ya leo. Naamini kwamba limefungua baba mioyo ya watu wengi. Wale ambao walikuwa wamekalia maono yao. Wale ambao walikuwa nakaribisha adui mwizi wa kuimba maono yao. Sasa hivi najua kwamba wametambua adui ni nani na watamweka kando ya maisha yao. Baba watalitetea kile ambacho umeweka ndani mwao. Kama Shadrach, Meshach na Abednego walitetea baba, maono waliokuwa naye ya kwamba Wayahudi ama Waisraeli hawakuwa watu wa kuabudu miungu mingine na wakajua kwamba ni hilo tu ndio Mungu ameweka ndani mwao. Walisimama na wakasema hatutaabudu miungu mingine. Mfalme hata kama haitakupendeza, lakini sisi tumeamua kwamba kama ni kifo wacha tufe. Na Esther akajua ya kwamba baba, ni wakati wake yeye mahali pale kutetea taifa lako. Alisimama akasema hata kama ni kinyume na sheria mimi nitaondoka. Na Mungu akaleta adui kwa kiwango changu na mimi najua kwamba nitapata kumwangamiza baba tunaomba mchana wa leo kila adui wa maono yetu kila adui wa maono yetu kila adui wa ndoto zetu kila adui wa ndoto zetu adui wa maono yetu ambao amesimama mbele yetu ndio mchana wa leo tunakuja kinyume na yeye tunamwangamiza tunamuchoma 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 katika jina la Yesu Kristo alizuia mababu zetu wakatuacha mahala pabani boma likaitwa boma la masikini lakini kwa vile nimejitambua ya kwamba Mungu wewe uliacha utajiri na ulituachia sisi utajiri. Baba mimi siitanishwi na majina ya familia. Naitanishwa na jina la Yesu Kristo. Na leo hii naungana na baraka yako. Chochote Bwana ndani yangu, ndani ya kanisa lako, ndani ya wapendwa hawa kinachoweza kuleta majuto kama ni majina walioitwa, kama ni familia waliotoka ndani mwao. Leo hii baba Tunaangusha hizo milima. Tunabomoa hizo milima. Tunaangusha hizo milima. Tunabomoa hizo milima. Tunaangusha hizo milima. Tunazichoma. 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 Tunazichoma katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Wamezuia baba mazomo ya watoto. Maana hawa hawakusoma wakasema walitanishwa majina na watoto wetu mchana wa leo jehova tuna disconnect maono ya watoto wetu kutoka kwao kutoka kwa maroho zao kutoka kwa ngome zao kutoka kwa nguvu zao tunadai watoto wetu upande wa Kristo Yesu baba fungua milango Yesu fungua milango baba fungua milango aibisha adui zetu aibisha waganga waliotumika aibisha kafara zilizotumika aibisha sadaka zilizotolewa kinyume na maono yetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo Asante mtakatifu maana mchana wa leo sadaka ya Yesu Kristo inanena kinyume na kila sadaka iliyotolewa kinyume na maono yetu iwe kwamba ilitolewa kwa madhabahu ama ilitolewa kwa mizimu ama ilitolewa kwa waganga ama ilitolewa baba kwa wachawi hiyo yote sadaka ya Yesu inanena maneno mazuri damu ya Yesu Kristo inenayo maneno mazuri inanena mambo mazuri kinyume na maadui zetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo pigie Yesu makofi mazuri asante mtakatifu asante mwaminifu asante Mungu wetu ni kwa sababu unatupenda na tena unatujana na umefungua baba watu wako mchana wa leo hili neno haujalituma kwetu bure bali najua limelenga maisha ya mtu 
na atafanyia kazi maono yake na ataacha baraka kwa vizazi na vizazi asante Mungu wetu asante bwana wa mabwana labda uko mahali pale mpendwa neno hili limekuwa la baraka kwako lakini haujamkiri Kristo Yesu kuwa bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yako na nimemalizia nikikwambia Jesus is the only way maana kuna njia zilizofungwa kwamba maono yetu yasije yakafanikiwa but when you are in Christ Jesus he is the way for you the, for the accomplishment of your vision of your dream in Jesus name kama haujampokea Kristo kuwa bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yako enoa tu mkono wako na urudie ili ombi nyuma yangu hata kama uko nyumbani na wale wako kanisani pia tuwasaidie sema bwana Yesu na haja mbele zako nimekiri kwa kinywa changu kwa nilikuwa nimepotea kwa nilikuwa nimefungwa kwa mimi ni mwenye dhambi naomba msamaha niondole damu yako Kristo ikasafishe maovu yote yaliyotendwa na mababu niliyoshirikishwa kwa damu niliyoshiriki kwa matendo baba ni same na ukapate kuniokoa futa jina langu kwa kitabu cha mauti kwa kitabu cha umasikini kitabu cha ufukara kitabu cha madeni kitabu cha kushindwa na uliandike kwa kitabu cha uzima wa milele cha baraka cha ushindi cha wokovu katika jina la Yesu Kristo asante Mungu wangu asante kwa kuniokoa asante kunifanya mwana katika ufalme wako winuliwe na uabudiwe kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na hata kuamini kwa hivyo kama umeokoka fanya hatua ya kutafuta kanisa linalohubiri injili ya kweli utakayoguza maisha yako na kubadilisha maisha yako na kama uko maeneo ya huruma ama Nairobi unaweza tutafuta kwenye mitandao kanisa la River of Life Christian Fellowship International tuko huruma utashuka stage namba 10 na tutakuchukua na uabudu pamoja nasi siku zote na Mungu atapata kubariki barikiwa sana unapokaribisha dada yako Kristo bwana aweze kuendelea barikiwa sisi sote amen sasa ni wakati wa matokeo sana wakati ambapo tunatoa matoleo wakati ambapo tunatoa sadaka isiwe ni kama ni lazima utoe sadaka yako si ati tunatolea mwanadamu unajitolea wewe mwenyewe jinsi ambavyo umehisi neno liko mzito kwa maisha yako amen wale wako na fungu la kumi wachukue bahasha na ukichukua fungu la kumi kumbuka ni kutolea Mungu unapatia Mungu deni yako na Mungu sawa kwa hivyo hii utakuja kwa mtubishi wa Mungu wa kuombe lakini hizi sadaka zingine za fellowship tukuje tutoe tuweke hapa amen na tutabarikiwa sisi sote sister Mary to be
mtumishi wa Mungu huwa anawapigia simu baadaye na mnaomba pamoja. Kwa hivyo mtaomba baadaye na mtumishi wa Mungu unapotuma tutapata majina yako. Amen. Mungu anamkaribisha mama ajaombe sadaka. Amen. Tuamini na tuombe kwa ajili ya matoleo baba Mungu nasema ni asante kwa matoleo ambao watoto wako wametoa, ambao wametoa katika nyumba yako na wala ambao umetoa baba wakiwa mbali. Ninabariki hizo kadi ambazo zimehusika kwa kutoa ya kwamba baba hazita enda kukauka bali zitakuwa na mazao na matunda ya kila siku yeyote ambaye baba anatoa katika madhabahu haya Mungu neno ambalo tunahubiri hapa likafanye utofauti katika maisha yake baba na unapotufanya tofauti maono yetu yakija kutimia sifa na utukufu tunakurudishia Nami ninaamini kwamba vile unavyonena na moyo wangu baba kuhusu maono ya river of life huruma baba unaenda kutenda hakuna chochote kila ambacho kitasimama kuzuia maono yako hata watu wako wanapokutolea baba sadaka hii ikaweze kusongea mbele zako kama manukato wanapojiunganisha na neno lako la ushirika wa siku ya leo ili Bwana manukato haya yanapopendeza mbele yako Mungu kawajibie maombi yao kuna wengi wamekulilia kwa sababu ya ile hali ambayo wanapitia katika maisha. Nami na naomba ya kwamba Mungu wangu matoleo haya kawe ya baraka na ya kupendeze, kiwango cha wewe kufungua kitabu cha kumbukumbu na kushuka na kukumbuka watu wako na kuwatendea hata walio mbali baba mkono wako si mfupi kaweze kuwafikia na kuwatendea makuna ya ajabu. Inuliwa uabudiwe biashara zao zikapate kunawiri, makambuni zile ambazo wanafikiria kufungua baba yaweke hayo mambo ndani ya mioyo zao na ulete destiny helpers ambao Mungu anatakikana kwa sababu ya hizo kambuni Bwana wa majeshi kila kandarasi iliyoandikwa ikaweze baba kuidhinishwa na kutimia kwa utukufu wa jina lako winuliwe uabudiwe maana kuna jambo ngumu mbele zako Jehova na kwa Yesu Kristo tunaomba na hata kuamini kabla tumalize wala ambao wako kwa mitandao na wala ambao wako hapa Bwana ameka ndani mwangu jambo kuhusu maono katika ukuu wake na uzito kabisa nami najua kwamba kuna kitu Mungu anataka ufanye katika maisha yako na iwe ni ya vizazi vijavyo usifanye ukijua kwamba ni wewe mimi natamani kujenga cathedral ambayo itaserve a thousand years to come sio ya leo peke yake na wewe pia fikiria kufanya kitu jenga orphanage ambayo itaserve watoto wa Mungu jenga elderly home ambayo itaserve watoto wa Mungu May God bless you in Jesus name. Amen. Naamini tumebarikiwa na tumekubaliana na neno la siku ya leo. Amen. Kwa hivyo sisi sote tuseme the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God. Sisi tuseme